I find it interesting how... I'm surprised that Metal Gear Solid 5 is trending. Why is World of Warcraft trending on YouTube Gaming? I don't know, isn't it popular? Not right now. Oh. <laughs> Beats me. Freaking Mario Maker's trending already, because the media's had it for freaking weeks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so disenfranchised by that game, but I'll probably still buy it. I'm probably gonna skip it. I think I'd have fun building stages, but you know how I feel about 2D Mario, so I probably wouldn't have fun playing it at all. I mean, Especially not for $60. Yeah, it was, I don't know why, but I kind of felt like it was gonna be a $40 game. Yeah, why is Super Mario Maker $60, but Yoshi's Woolly World is 50 <laughs> Can we talk about that, Nintendo? <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really know those were the prices. I mean, I, I feel like for charging sixty dollars, it still just doesn't come with enough stuff. Like, I think, I think Nintendo was really considerate about how all the little parts they did include will interact with each other. But at the end of the day, and I've seen reviews comment on this, it's it's still just not enough. Yeah. Oh anyway. uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I like the the chat overlapping like that. I really don't either, but I can uh, see where you're going with it because it gives the you're not shrinking down the capture quite as much, and that was a concern when I was setting up my layout and adding the chat to it. I was like, wow, I really have to shrink down the actual viewing space to do this, and that sucks. Yeah, a friend of mine opined that both the the game feed and the chat feed should be bigger, but because enlarging the game feed takes up space exponentially, it's you can't really get away with it without having them overlap. Yeah. Thankfully, at least in this case, this is a game with a border, so it's not going to actually cover up the gameplay. That's true. I could make the chat even bigger if I wanted to, but I thought it looked kind of silly if I did that. Um, the thing is, and like, I guess maybe it's too soon to know for sure here, but... On Twitch, I could understand wanting every wanting to have everything bigger because video quality on Twitch is garbage. Sometimes, so, yeah. YouTube quality is much better, so it might not make as big of a difference. This is still the only game I've played on YouTube, so I'm really curious to try something like Splatoon, where when you're moving around a lot, it would have a tendency to like screen door and get really blurry on Twitch. Yeah, I haven't had problems with uh, Splatoon or Monster Hunter. It's been pretty pretty smooth nice. from what I've seen. And are you listening to the stream right now? Not yet. Okay. You should I'm you definitely want to see. check if there's any audio redoubling. I need to pull the bathroom door closed because the dryer's running and I <laughs> And then if that's all good, I I guess I'll go ahead and advertise. And hopefully get a few friends watching. I find it really interesting how YouTube retains all the comments from, like, well, forever, I guess. So right now... Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Right now, I, I don't know if I like it necessarily, but it's interesting. I don't Mostly like... because, um... The the analytics are all, are all combined into one, too, then. You can't look at analytics for just one stream. You have to look at it for every stream ever, combined. And you have to narrow it down yourself to see analytics. Yeah, I really don't know how to mess with analytics anyway, and my, my stream always says there's zero people watching. I actually wanted to go check analytics for the Monster Hunter. Alright. Well... Alright, maybe there will or won't be audio issues, but I'm going to go ahead and advertise. Yeah, that Tuesday night stream on Monster Hunter did not bring in many, very many views. I have no idea if that was Monster Hunter, or be, like if nobody nobody cares for Monster Hunter 3 anymore, or was it because it was on a Tuesday? 
I have no idea. How do you spell your channel's name? I suppose we'll find out on Friday. How do you, what's on your, your Twitter name? Um, it's contagious except Nin instead of Khan. I, okay. It's like not come. oh there it is. I don't understand. Oh, are you trying to like tag it on Twitter? Yeah, and like Twitter will do this thing where if I start typing something, it doesn't immediately, it doesn't prioritize the things I'm already following. Kind of what sucks there is I don't use the Nintagious Twitter at all. You don't use any Twitter at all. I don't use my personal one very often, no, but I actually use that one. Whereas Nintagious, I don't use it at all. I need to eventually come up with like a cool, I don't know, advertisement image for my streams. But I get too lazy to think of things. Oops. I think that audio sounds pretty swell to me. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we're both about the same volume. Game is still audible. Oh yeah, I'd probably say to tag my personal account, because even that's even the account I have linked to Nintagious now, so... Oh really? That's interesting. Yeah, the, other, the other Twitter account's pretty much just dead. Even though it's newer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope my <coughs> files... Ah, darn it. I hope my image select window is not appearing in the stream at all, because there are some naughty things in it. Uh, it's just a blue. Fantastic. Like, it's just the Tumblr background. I was wondering what that was. Okay, good. I don't need to get banned from YouTube already. Alright, I guess I am ready. Wait, where's the... There it is. Yes, thank you, tablet. I just plugged in earbuds and then unplugged hey, them. Hey, Marina. Marina's in the chat. Hello. I just tapped back to the chat and saw that. The big head demon? That's the only one I see so far. Yeah, that's her. Alright, I guess everything is pretty good. YouTube Gaming's icon is so weird. It just Yeah, I don't understand the relevance. It looks of... like a heart. Yeah. I think that's what it's supposed to be, but I don't understand how that's relevant to gaming. That is very weird. Alright, well, I know I've been doing like all the challenges and stuff up until now, and I do want to get back to those. But I figured because I know you get achievements for clearing each game, and I am kind of an achievement whore sometimes. Uh, I figured I'd just play some of the direct games. And you, Kevin, <clears throat> were complaining about Mega Man 5 for some reason. Yeah, I don't... I don't like Mega Man 5 very much. So I'm gonna play Mega Man 5. Show me what I'm missing. I guess. I know, to tell you the truth, I don't... Oh, why don't you like Mega Man 5? I don't know. What's your... What is your problem I, with like, it, exactly? Nothing... There's no parts of it that stand out to me, I guess. Is And why exactly did you get angry at it? Because you were playing it just a little bit ago, right? Oh, I was dying constantly in the fortress, which is pretty much just lack of experience talking, because uh... I haven't played 5 a whole lot. Okay. Um, yeah, to be totally fair, that was just because I was dying a lot. And... <laughs> Hello, Maho! I think this is your first time in. Thanks for joining. 
Alright, so who do you think I should choose first? What, you're, like, looking for a challenge? I don't care. I mean, I would just go in order. That's typically what I do. Well, that's um, typically how I play, but sometimes I like to just go randomly. I still remember that time I was testing uh, for my channel, and I was doing four, and for some reason I decided to do Drill Man with Buster only, and you were like, oh, you're never going to be able to do this. <laughs> um, I can't remember... I'd be mean and pick the one that I was having the most trouble with in the Who's... Buster Only clear, but I can't remember who that was. Hmm. I'm going. To, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and guess Charge Man. So you don't have a. All right, Marina says Gyro Man, so that's what it's gonna be. That'll do. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't think Mega Man Five is all that great a give a game either. Um, I don't hate it necessarily. But I think I agree with you, it's just for the most part, until you start getting to the castle stages, it's very bland. Yeah. And Charge Man's stage is really cool. But then I... Charge Man himself is a stupid design and he's kind of a jackass in battle, so... Uh, I think it's kind of a cute design. The stage itself, I don't really see what's so interesting about it because... It's all basically scenery. Well, yeah. There's like no interesting, I don't know... Train gimmicks, whatever those might be, except for train-shaped enemies. That's true, yeah. I think it's just that it's a very dynamic, uh, Darn environment. And... Yeah, I can't recall if they've done that in any of the other games. Well, Mega Man did ride on a train, on top of a train, at, at the, the beginning of, of Mega Man 4. Oh, beginning of 4, and at the end of 4, I think. I guess, I guess, um... Five is interested, interesting in the fact that it's the first time Mega Man has like properly ridden the train. I think uh, like I I don't find the master designs to be terribly interesting. Um, mm. The the weapons are all really weird. They're like, certainly unique. I guess I kind of feel what you're saying by they're not they don't stand out so much. Right. But. You have to admit, for the most part, there's not, like, a lot of repeats from past games. No, that's true. I remember people criticizing when 9 and 10 came out about how they just had, you know, one of every element. Kind of. I think 3 got a lot of uh, notoriety from the fact that it didn't have, like, any of the elements at all. Except electricity, I guess, but then Sparkman yeah. is such an interestingly different robot from Electman. Yeah. In kind of the same way, I don't think there was... I mean, I could be... Well, no, I am mistaken. I was going to say there hasn't, there hadn't been a bomb robot since Bomb Man, but no, there was Crash Man. But yeah. I think... Um, but then, it, like, 4 didn't really have the elements either. Yeah, neither was this one. Half so. the time I died of that. Yeah, like, like Napalm Man is interesting enough that he kind of doesn't stand in the same light as them, or he doesn't stand in anyone's shadow, I guess is what I want to say. Same with Pharaoh Man being a fire robot. Yeah. It really, in my opinion, it really wasn't until Mega Man 6 that they just kind of got lazy with just reproducing elemental robots. Yeah, 6 was probably the first one, where they had like one of everything. But even so then they didn't much. have a water one, I guess, so... Yeah, it had actually had been a long time since they had an ice robot. It was the first game, I think. I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you count, like, Flash Man or Gemini Man or something. But I, I sure don't. don't. <laughs> I mean, they have... S well, no, Gemini Man doesn't even have a slippery stage. I always thought no. his stage was, like, crystals. Uh, 5 does have some redeeming soundtrack moments, I'll give it that. I think the soundtrack is okay. Like, there's some of it's forgettable, but then there's other stuff that, like, really stands out. Particularly the Fortress stages. The Fortress stages are good, but then, like... There's no variety, it's all the same songs. Ah, I was doing so well on this guy. 
and I didn't have any investment in Darkman for the most part. Like, he didn't interest me that much. <laughs> and the fact that you have to fight four variations of him, sort of. Didn't seem like a very cool guy. You two didn't get along very well? Yeah. <laughs> Follow tried to friend him on Facebook, but this ignored my request. Some people are jerks like that. I guess it was the fact that like that like they don't give you any time to like appreciate him as a character because it's just oh like okay it wasn't Proto Man. It was spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> um it was this dark man guy instead and then you don't even know what his name is until after you've beaten him. Pretty much, it's kind of weird. Who should I pick next? Or I'll just be annoying like this, I'll keep doing this. Um... Hello, TC Smith, 20,001. Um, what kind of video would you like to make? Also, do you have a suggestion on which Robot Master I should pick? Just say any any name of a character oh, in this Stone game. Man. Stone Man, done. Someone watching will probably suggest something else before that selection goes through on the stream. That's okay, you can know that one next. That works. Stone Man stage is so long. Yeah, and again, it's not particularly interesting. Yeah, I mean... There's not a whole lot going on. Honestly, mine stages in Mega Man tend to be pretty boring anyway. Except, well, Drill Man has the really weird thing of like, you flip switches and churn on ground. I don't, I don't really <laughs> understand how that works. And they use it for about twenty seconds and then it never comes back. It's a, well, it's an interesting I, idea. It's right at the end of the stage, uh, but yeah, I was thinking about that when I just played through four the other night. I was like, this is an interesting. I'm not sure what's happening mechanic, yeah. and they never use it again. Like some of the mechanics in four are definitely weird, but at least. At least every stage, except for Skullman stage, has some kind of neat gimmick in it. Gosh, so many one-ups in this game. Yeah, I noticed that when I was playing just a little earlier. Um, Mahal said Crystal Man, but I think they're referring to the fact that that's who you use Gyromans with. Oh, yeah, in that is... In which case, yes, you are correct. That is who you would use Gy the. Indeed, but I'm just... I don't even remember the weapon names. Gyro attack, is it? Yep. I'm just picking whoever. It doesn't matter to me. This is one of the... 4, 5, and 6 are games I can pick the bosses in any order, and they're all easy. I guess I'm kind of bragging, but... Did you do Buster only yet, then? No, not yet. That's, that's gonna be... The games I fear most for that are... One. One and th one and three. I can't remember who gave me trouble in two. In one I did fine until I got to a Wekman, and then I was like, how what how am I how are you supposed to do this? In two, I would probably have the most trouble with either Woodman or Quickman. Especially because I think it uses the difficulty mode damage settings. The difficult mode blah. Which is normal mode for Rockman too. Yeah, I would assume. We all know that. I think. Is that one? Um, TC Smith, like I'm, I'm glad you're a fan. I'm still like working out all the streaming stuff. I don't have any. Oh, I'm gonna get. Ah, I don't have any system or anything. But once I get more of that figured out, I we could try to do something. You follow me on Tumblr. Wait for that response, I guess. <laughs> it's like there's this one up here, but I totally don't even need it. But I'm gonna get it anyway. You have six already. Yeah. So that's I guess that's one of the interesting features, is that a couple of stages in this game have false paths like this, like invisible paths. Yeah. Yay. I mean it it certainly doesn't make you think Mega Man, but it's something. And then they only use it, like, twice. So... I 
think there's one other stage in this game that uses these spinning platforms, so they're not really unique to the stage. Yeah, it's Gyro Man stage, we just... wasn't it? Yeah. One of the fortress stages uses them too. Here's another power-up I don't really need, but I might as well get it. I think in the, the big 20th anniversary fan book they made for Mega Man... Really, buddy? Wow. <laughs> I'm blessed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't like Tumblr. Well, how, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how do you know me? That's where, that's where I get most of my notoriety from, although I can't blame you for not liking Tumblr. It does have its issues, I suppose. Yeah. Actually, I think it's just starting today, I've seen all kinds of complaints about something being updated in the layout. Yep. But I, I actually haven't noticed it. I don't know what it is. Uh, they changed the way it displays reblog comments. Okay. And some people don't like it because that does like, you know how it had like, it would show your comment. It would show all the comments like indented, like it would on like a message board or something. Kind of like nested, right? Yeah. It doesn't do that anymore. It just lists them all on a list, and there's like dividers between them, but the dividers are very faint, so it kind of just looks like one long message, and you have trouble kind of telling what's what. Um, it doesn't bother me as much as it's bothering other people, to be totally honest. I don't think I really even noticed it, but... I did notice it, and I was like, what the hell is this? But it didn't really... didn't really make me say, like, wow, they need to... Like, it didn't make me riot, like some people. I'm just... I'm thinking of all the times, like, YouTube ever updated their layout, and people just completely losing their minds over it, like, that's the worst thing ever! Yeah. You can't use the site anymore! And, and it's fine. Same with Twitter. Alright, who should I do next? Um, Napalm. Napalm? Okay. Guys, when you- when- when I'm like beating a boss, you should- you should start commenting on who I should play next at that point, because by then I'll probably be at the stage select screen. Please and thank you! Alright, so, so Maho said Starman, but we'll do Starman next. See, I can just- I can just keep moving, it's, there's no challenge to it at all. This buster is like so overpowered. It's almost like using the the ultimate armor in X4 and just Nova striking through everything. Which is pretty much how I played X4 entirely as a kid. So maybe about I don't you you've played X4, right? Yeah, X4 is probably when I really like X4. It's pretty cool. I I don't want to say it's my favorite because X1 is kind of a masterpiece, but no, I, I agree with you. That's that's def that's more or less a series where everything just kept going downhill. But X4 is probably my second favorite game. But I would always always use the ultimate armor code because whatever, being overpowered is fun, right? Yeah, and having unlimited Nova Strike is fun. Yeah, I really only use it when I'm trying to look good, <laughs> and I want to be like, look, I'm actually good, I'm not just using, I'm, I'm not using a charge attack that's like shooting a small moon, so. Hey Funky, uh, this mystery guest is, uh, I guess I can just say your name Kevin, right? Yeah. Kevin, he's yeah. like a super long time friend of mine, I think I've known you since 1998. So Something like that. We're, yeah, bo yeah, we're both really tough. old, pretty much. Um, and yeah, we've been friends since then. Kevin does his own YouTube stuff, Nintagious, which is like way more prolific and popular than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> which isn't very, so... <laughs> it's, it's comparisons, my friend. Um, but yeah, I, w I was saying, like, last month or so, I was at a friend's place playing Mega Man X4. On, I think. Oh, no, it was on PS. It was on PS3. It was. Uh, I was. I wanted to say it was on Xbox for some reason. I'm like, no, that can't be right. 
But, um... I guess yeah, for... I don't think they've re-released those games. For some reason, I think it uses the Japanese-style control settings, so you can't input that code for the ultimate armor. Ew. So I, I actually... I had to play the game, like, just normally, and it was so much harder than I remember. I was, like... I was kind of ashamed at how bad I was at the game by that point. Some of the upgrades are kind of a hassle to get, too. A little bit, yeah. It's like, wow, I'm dying to Cyber Peacock? I never die to Cyber Peacock. I'm expecting that. I think that was a flawless victory. I do have uh, a little bit more respect for X2 and X3 in recent years. Um... X2 is pretty good. X3 is a game I, and we were talking about this before, I've still never sat down and actually tried to play through it. Really? I, yeah, I, and, like, yeah, I never owned X3, I never bothered to play it much on emulator, like, in later years, and so, and I have it on my Wii U, but I still don't really try to play it that much, so that's like a game where I have to actually think really hard about what the boss weakness order is, I don't know where right. all the power-ups are. X3 is when things started getting very complicated, like, there's a lot of stuff to find. There are, there are a lot of... it's almost like a Donkey Kong Country game, there's so many collectibles. Yeah, I really don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that it has so much stuff to collect. But that, and it's just an overall harder game because I feel like the stage layout... Well, first of all, nearly every enemy in the game shoots at you. And I feel like the stages are designed so they always have an optimal shot on you when you're trying to get through. I mean, uh, similar to you with X3, like, I, I never had a Super Nintendo, so of course I didn't have X2 or X3. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, it took emulation years and years and years to be able to actually properly emulate. That's right. So I had to wait quite a while. I, I think I played X4 before I played 2 or 3. I mean, you remember we all used to be, like, spriders and stuff. Yeah. And, like, those games were kind of the holy grail because we could not emulate them. Like, there was one guy who somehow managed to get a copy of X3 for PC and had the only sprites for it at the time, so he was, like, kind of a god then. <laughs> but... Ah, oh, that takes me back thinking about all that stupid, silly stuff we did. You were part of Sprites INC, right? Barely. Barely. I mean, I know I started it with... With, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, this is so embarrassing, I'm forgetting names. It wasn't got... Auto, was it? No, it was... well, I guess I'll just go by net names. It was Cutman and Dark Napalm. Oh. And... I just... I mean, I... you know who Dark Napalm is. <laughs> oh, well, of course I know who he is. <laughs> um, oh, and I, I just remember Cutman's name. I, I couldn't remember Cutman's real life name, but maybe I, I should... I was gonna say, by Cutman, I imagine you mean Mega Man Extreme. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right, that was his name back then, oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, those online names are so beautiful. But yeah, that site is still going. I passed it off to... Yeah, it's still there. I hop, I pop over every now and then when I need something. When I was doing bits, that's where I collected everything I needed. And it's always funny to think like, oh yeah, that's something we started and it's like still going strong and... It's, I mean, I guess it's kind of a big deal. I don't I don't really know how big of a deal, like, sprites and sprite comics are these days. I don't know. Probably not that big of a deal. Yeah, I remember... I did... I, I think I captured, like, some enemies or something from Mega Man 6. I didn't, I didn't do that much, though. It's not involved in that for very long. Mega Man, as far as I know, was definitely the birth of spriting. I don't think... Th I don't think... I mean, I don't know, I didn't... It's not like I scoured the internet at the time, which was very young and silly. Instead of being really big and pornographic and silly. <laughs> but, um... Uh, as far as I know, Pixel Boy was the first guy to ever rip Mega Man sprites, and I was so impressed by that, and I didn't know what an emulator was at the time, I assumed he just looked really close at the TV screen and, like, drew them in <laughs> MS Paint. 
Like, I figured he had some huge big screen TV and just, like, paused the game. Although, you couldn't really do that because that brought up the menu. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, was there anyone after Starman? Sorry, I'm kind of ignoring I comments. I don't think so. I guess I can be reading stuff off. Yeah, um, that would be so nice. <laughs> My house said when the GameCube collection came out, they tried to play the games differently, and that's what led to doing the Buster only runs. X3 destroyed them the first time around. Remembers when Sprite Inc. first started, but I only remember people's handles. No. No suggestions? No. Do a Crystal Man, I guess. Okay. Yeah, someone. Crystal Man was mentioned. I think I want to say. Oh, Wave Man just came in, darn it. It's I knew right. that was going to happen. Wave's next. I think we'll save Gravity for last, just because that stage is actually kind of fun. Connor Huffin asked who did the metery gaming sprite. Uh, you know, unfortunately this is horrible. I can't remember exactly the name of the person who made it, but a friend of mine, a really super sweet, awesome friend of mine, commissioned it from someone. Wow, two one-ups in, in a row. You see that? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> but, yeah, I next time I'll have to... I think if you look at, if you go to my Tumblr, and look at the My Persona tag. There's like a link to it. I should have a picture of it. another one up. I should have a picture of it there. I'm sorry, there's also lewd pictures there. Please ignore that. Um, but it should have the sprite and I should have credited, because I always like to credit who makes artwork for me. Um, that should be credited there. But or otherwise, I'll try to look it up and say Enjoy those there. pictures. <laughs> sorry? You can ignore or you can enjoy those pictures, that's totally up to I'm you. I'm not going to make any kind of suggestion, it's it's all up to you. I'm just warning in case you don't want to see that, but it is, uh -oh. it's definitely there. Also, hello Connor, thanks for joining. Well, I'm getting a lot of viewers, like new people I haven't seen before. YouTube is claiming 7 watching right now, I don't know oh. how seriously to take that, but... Um... Yeah, it always says 0 for me. Hello Shield Attacker. I actually don't I remember what the that. suffix for those is, because they're always shield attacker and then something as they appear in subsequent games. Ow. Oh. Um, I did retweet it, but I don't see anyone that I know as a common viewer showing up, so I'm afraid that's not helping yet. Oh, that's right, I already have an M tank. I think I got that from Stone Man stage. Let's see that I don't screw this up. Yeah, I messed this up the first time and had to redo it. There we go. What's that noise, Midori? I think... What are you doing? Are you doing a little drum beat? Mm hmm <laughs> What's that for? I was tapping my fingers on the table. Uh, are you getting bored? No. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I am wondering if I should be multitasking doing this, but... Oh. Whatever you like. Nothing's popping out to me as, hey, go do this. So I'm just hanging out. Hello, Boulder. Probably a lot of people did come from my Tumblr. In which case, you might have a very weird impression of me. <laughs> I personally haven't had much success with actually pulling people in from Twitter, I, despite people constantly telling me that I have to use Twitter. Sweetie, your problem is you need to promote yourself a lot more. Although, well, I, I, I looked at your, your viewers recently, and I see it's climbed a lot, so that's good. Yeah, I think streaming helped a lot. And I kind of wonder how it's, like, advertised on YouTube, because you said it's randomized? How they- well, I'm just missing this guy. I think so. I haven't spent a whole lot of time, um, looking at YouTube gaming, to be totally honest. I totally love the little yellow blob emotes. I don't know if that's what you're seeing. That's, those are like the Google emotes. I think those are great. Uh, yeah, I see them. <laughs> yes, Twitter whore yourself for the masses. I think that's good advice. You don't get any of those yeah, Twitter like, accounts following you saying like, follow me back, you can get 5,000 followers. And their and their avatar is always like a sexy, half-dressed woman. 
Alright, someone said Waveman next, so we'll do Waveman. Yeah, like, I, I typically only tweet out, like, when I start a stream. I should probably be tweeting, like, every hour or something like that. I should be doing that, too, because I, I, other people do do that. And I usually just get so absorbed in the game that I forget about it. Yeah, exactly. So, yay, the worst, the worst stage in the game. The stage is so awful. It's just slow because of those stupid geysers. It's slow... There's like no enemies here to face. There's like a weird puzzle section that's not interesting. And then you get to the bike or the, the boat part, whatever you want to call it. And even though that's like outside of Gravity Man stage, this probably has the most gimmicks in the game, but they're, none of them are really fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Well, like I said, I know I noticed that just playing like an hour ago. It was like those geysers make it so slow because you have to constantly stop and wait for them just to stop doing their thing. No, Boulder, I will not check out your your game. No, unless unless it has naked people in it that are maybe furries. Then wait, you what? might you might. Oh, there's like a a joke because I guess a lot of people get comments on Tumblr now of advertising account saying, hey, check out my new game. Oh, really? And I, I, I feel like I've gotten that once. And, I, and it, I'll, I'll, I'll have to admit, the way it was written, it sounded kind of personal. I was thinking, like, maybe this is, really is a person that wants me to check out their game, but you just think more about it, like, why, why would someone pick me to test their game? Like, who am I, really? <laughs> like, I don't... Like, I understand if maybe they're sending it to all their followers, but... I don't know, it just... And then, of course, because I've seen all the comments and jokes about that being prevalent on Tumblr, I'm like, this is probably a little ruse. You know how various stages in Mega Man games have sort of a mid-boss big character? Mm hmm I think this is the only one in Mega Man 5. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. Like, Mega Man 4 had the whale and the hippo and the weird spring things and spring man stage and the giant snails. This just has an octopus and that's it. That's all they could be bothered to make as a mid-boss. Oh shoot, that thing is coming up. I One of the only things I, I dislike about 4 is that Ringman has four freaking sub-bosses in it. Yeah, yeah, that, that does kind of tie you up a bit. And it's not like they're tremendously difficult, like I can deal with them just fine, but it feels like it sucks up a lot of the stage. You should totally play Mega Man Boulder, it's a freaking fantastic game. I don't know why I'm, I'm really trying to censor myself. When I stream, I tend to try to keep myself, like, kind of PG, I guess, but... <laughs> when I'm recording, I try to do that. When I stream, I don't care. <laughs> Mostly because if I'm playing Splatoon or something, it's bound. I'm bound to get angry, and f bombs are gonna start flying. I swear, I swear so much in real life anyway, so I don't really understand why I censor myself so much. Because um, kids probably us. don't watch me play games, especially if they're coming from my Tumblr. If you're under 18, you should probably not look at my Tumblr. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like. Yeah, you should play Mega Man, and you can get it now for just fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> That's a nice shill. I'll 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 admit, because we talked about this a bit, but I, yeah, at first I was super disappointed about this game when it was announced. With because we're Mega Man fans, we have such high expectations, and we're so thirsty. But the only thing I was disappointed by was no Wii U release. That is a big disappointment. Um, I wasn't willing to wait for the 3DS version. I didn't really want the PC version because my gamepad sucks, so I knew that was going to be a problem. But I just, like, got the joy box out and got my GameCube controller working, and it's fantastic, so whatever. Nice. But, I, I mean, I will admit, th these are very well-made recreations of those games. Yeah. And mostly for the sake that I have a nice... PC gamepad, which is shaped like shaped like a Super Nintendo controller. Um, I, I enjoy playing this a lot more than any of the virtual consoles, especially because the colors are proper. I see uh, 
I see a lot of people complaining about slowdown, but I don't think they realize that that's intentional. Yeah, I mean, I think that happens in the virtual console games as well. Probably. Because that... Because I think they were talking about that uh, digital eclipse when they were addressing how they made the game. Like, some of that slowdown is intentionally programmed. Well, yeah, it has to be now. I mean, even for the original Nintendo version. Oh. Like, there are, there are worse... There's two cases of what causes slowdown they were talking about. I don't exactly remember, but one is in certain situations they program it to intentionally slow down. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that I was mean, the other is there's a lot of stuff on screen. I think so, yeah. Because they made such a big deal about Mega Man 9 having, like, legacy mode or whatever uh -huh. that added the slowdown to the game, whereas you could actually turn it off. And it added, like, sprite flickering and, yeah. like, channel, like, how sound effects 10 would... Had that. 10 didn't have that. And I know for the longest time I didn't even notice. I was kind of playing it one day and I realized, you know what, there's no sprite flicker or anything. Yeah, the color tearing on the right side of the screen is authentic. That, that happened on the NES. Mm-hmm. And it does lead to some very strange things happening sometimes. Do you ever play the game in, uh, like, television mode? With that filter? I, I looked at television mode on Legacy Collection and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I have to admit, it's really cool because it does really look like an old TV screen and it kind of makes me feel all nostalgic and happy and stuff. I do use the monitor scan lines. But after a while, it does get a little uh, annoying to look at. Yeah, it kind of hurts your eyes, honestly. Oh, this guy is but so like cheap. the the monitor scan lines look fine. I thought those. Yes, I have those on. I'm not very familiar, like with what that is. I know it's like an arcade thing, but I've never done it, so I've never played a game like that. So it, that's kind of lost on me. That's just I don't know if there's something to it other than the appearance. Pretty much. <sighs> um, no, this is the Legacy Collection Boulder, it's, so it's not emulated per se. Although I remember some, when this game finally came out, like, people of course immediately started going through like all the data, and they were saying like, oh it is emulated, it's just an emulator. And I guess it has an emulator like program in it, but it's not simply... It's not simply emulating the code, it's using the code to sort of rebuild the game. I don't... I don't really... I'm not a technical person, of course. So... I haven't read a lot about it myself. Why doesn't Dr. Wily make all of his robots out of whatever the, whatever the Met Tools helmets are made out of? I'm guessing it's really expensive? Aside or... from the fact that Wily's only made like two dozen of the robots himself, <laughs> but he steals the rest. He steals them, and he's always, apparently he always has trouble getting money. And when he modifies them, he does it very cheaply. Which is why, for example, Charge Man still runs on coal. And Turbo Man runs on gas. Yeah. Um, something I always loved about like the later Sonic games is they point out that Eggman has like a side business just to make money. Like, he makes, like, legit robotics for, like, security and stuff. It's like, why doesn't he just keep doing that? <laughs> why is he gotta try and take over the world? I mean, I, I, I'm not really a Sonic fan, so I have no idea. Like, it's always, it always weirded me out how eventually they just said, Hey, Sonic is just on Earth, actually. None of this, right. none of this Mobius stuff. So, I don't know. That was kind of a dead-end discussion. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, Mega Man's a very long series, but Wily's only in, like, 11 of the games. He's in pretty much all of the games. Well, yeah, but he's not in the X series or the Legends series. Oh, I see like, what if you're If you're saying. including all of those as being part of the Mega Man series. No, I was just, I was just oh. thinking of classic. Yeah, when it comes to classic, but even then, he's only built, like, two dozen of them himself. He, all of the Robot Masters in 2, he built himself, and I believe all the ones in 5, he actually built himself. The rest were all stolen. Mm, I think some of... Mm, I'm not sure, actually. Except for a few exceptions. 
but it's always like one or two. It's never the whole collection. Like one was all Doctor Light, of course, uh -huh. al along with nine. I'm just amusing myself right now. I think three he made with Doctor Light as well. I'm not sure about three. I think a lot of those actually might have been robots. That Dr. Light originally made? I don't know. It's been such a long time since I've read up on, read up on that stuff. And then, uh... Four, Kozak built them all, of course. And then six was the tournament that he stole them all from. I think some of the ones in seven he made, but not all of them. Yeah, and after I think there six, might be a few in eight that he built himself as well. After six, it just kind of gets weird. And 10, I'm not sure about. I don't know the origin of all the ones in 10, or in Rockman and Forte. I don't know all those either. I know Dr. Light built Coldman. I'm pretty sure the instruction manual says that. I think it's implied... Well, I don't know. I was oh going to say God. it's we implied... We are such nerds. What are we talking about? We are freaking nerds. Well, I did <laughs> research for this because I was going to make my own collection of eight masters at one point. So I went and researched, like, just the origin of all of them. Hmm. But I don't, oh, that is that Rocket? Hello? I think Ross Angel is Rocket Mia. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think three Wily and Light made together, along with Gamma. Alright, time to do Proto Man. Um, I want to say that he built Tengu and Astro himself. That would that would explain how they're in two games, but at the same time, it doesn't because he's not the lead villain in Rockman and Forte. Like like he is, but he's not. You don't know about him till later in the game, so that wouldn't explain much. Ah, darn it! I always do that. This is where the game actually starts getting challenging. I don't think I had much trouble until I got to the, the actual Wily Fortress. I think that's when I started dying a lot. The Wily Fortress is pretty tough. And I don't know why they tried. They decided to make Rush Coil so weird in this game. I don't know. I guess they just wanted to change something for the sake of changing it. I mean, they made Rush Jet worse, so they're like, we might as well make something else worse. I think this is like the only time you ever have to use Rush Jet. That's not high enough. Uh, it said yes, I am Rock, rock Rocket Nia. Yes. She's cool. I'm, I'm very bad at <laughs> pronouncing names first try, especially since I usually glance very quickly. I'm also bad at re remembering names. Yeah, I'm much better with faces than names. Ah! I'm getting pretty beaten up here. That'll help. I like how this is like a legitimate castle. Like you look at the Sometimes background. I about is like I was saying a, a lot of part. A lot of what I don't like about five is probably just lack of experience because it, it's probably the one I've played the least. But then I haven't played 6 a whole lot either. I think I just like 6 so much because everybody hates it for some reason. I, I just end up for it. I used to not be that into 6. Shoot. But... Because it's kind of a weird game. But when you really look at it, there's like a lot... At least compared to 5, there's a lot more interesting stuff going on. Yeah. Because... Really great music all around. Pretty good, yeah. This is the only time these two things ever appear. I don't know what their deal is. <laughs> I was wondering that myself. It's like they made this enemy and they're like, Oh, we forgot to put it in the game. Buster only on this guy is actually pretty hard. So are you going full buster only now? Uh, not necessarily. There might be some that are like borderline impossible, I guess. If I if I start dying a lot, I'll I'll use weapons. But most of these bosses are just so easy. 
Like in the like in Wily, those start getting kind of hard to do Buster only. One of these Sentinels like beat earlier without taking damage. I don't remember which one it was though. That is true that this game's Rush Coil gives you more horizontal control, but at the same time, there's just not even that many opportunities to use it. And half the stuff you can use the Super Arrow for anyway. That's true. They kind of actually just found out that if you stand right in front of these things and unleash a charge shot, it doesn't matter if their shields down; you can still hit them. Oh yeah, I think you can break through their shields. I like in the Game Boy game Mega Man 4, you can stand on top of them. Really? Yeah, that, and, and that's like intentional because when they lift their shields up, it raises you a little bit higher, and that's how you get to like certain secret areas. Huh. But I didn't know that for a long time either. I haven't played that one a whole lot either. That's a very I had interesting two game. and three on Game Boy, like as a kid. I still have the cartridges actually, but I could never find a copy of four or five. This part is particularly hard, so I'm gonna have to concentrate here for a sec. Yeah, this is the part. I, this is when I started having trouble earlier. I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I don't normally use like. Weapons on I just, son of a. <laughs> I just uh, grab it. Star, Star Crash this. didn't help me there. Like whenever they came on screen, I just let a gravity hold rip, and unfortunately, I was completely out of it by the time I was done with that section. But I kind of got freaked out and jumped short. I don't uh don't don't forget that this. The Legacy Collection does have save states. <laughs> does it? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm actually kind of surprised. Why would it have save states? I thought they wanted it to be, like, all accurate. I don't know. Can you... Yeah, I've used them in, like, very extreme cases of oh, emergency. Oh, wow, yeah. How about that? I don't think I, I, don't think I actually made a save, but... No. Didn't look like it. I guess that's probably- I didn't realize that because I've only been playing the challenge mode so far. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't- I'm trying to keep a save, like, at the end of the game so that if I ever want to go back in and show someone, like, the boss rush and the final boss, I can just load it up and go. Um, the only one I really abused it for was one because I'm terrible at one. There we go. Not so bad. <laughs> I also abused it in two because I managed to get through the final area to the final boss without taking damage. And I was like, oh, I'm going to save this so I don't have to do that again. I mean, these games are freaking hard when you're learning them, so I don't really accuse them of having the save states. Like, I think no, that might true. help some people get through it that might not, might have, might put the game down before that otherwise. Yeah. I guess I could make up for that thing I lost. I mean, Virtual Console has save states, too, so it's kind of whatever. I think the thing that bums me out is that, like... I mean, I understand they wanted them to be accurate, but, like, I'm sad that they didn't include, like, weapon switching on the shoulder buttons or anything like that, because that would have just been a quality of life kind of thing. Yeah, that would have been nice, I think. They could have... Oops, nope, don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Oh darn it. Tigers are dicks. <laughs> Bye. Cause uh didn't Anniversary Collection have the shoulder swaps, didn't it? I think so, but I think that's because the original PlayStation games had that. True. Yeah, I forgot that that was pretty much just a port of complete works. Might have been this guy I did without taking damage. Yeah, this guy's pretty dumb. They clearly didn't have too many ideas for designing attack patterns for these guys. It's like... He runs around and he's invincible half the time. What happened? Toad Man puts up a bigger fight than that. <laughs>
At least the next one is kind of interesting. Next one though was one with like the cannon, right? Yeah. You freeze you. This is probably one of the this might be the most difficult stage in the game. I'm not sure. I hate those things. <laughs> Need to check the database. There's, there, there's got to be some weapon that kills those things really easily. Well, I'm sure there is. I'm gonna let's try gyro attack. I think gyro attack takes two hits, which is pretty decent. But I mean, like again, I was saying early on, a lot of these weapons are really strange and situational. There's not a, a lot of straightforward. You you can shoot these at things. Yeah, like gyro attack makes it is especially interesting against like the final boss because you're like, well, there's only like three weapons I can hit it with, so it's got to be weak to one of those. <laughs> it's pretty much just weak to beat. Well, the stages before that, when I was doing the the challenge for the the skull tank or whatever, I was like, what the hell is this thing weak to? I only have three weapons. <laughs> and then they tricked me and made it weak to the super arrow because they're dicks. Well, they, I think they realized we have to do something with this. Right? Like, what if no one uses it otherwise? This uh, legacy collection has taught me a lot about different weapons and what you can do with them, though. Which I pointed out the one that you were streaming challenge mode because you have all the weapons at points you wouldn't ordinarily have all the weapons. Right, right. So you can do some really interesting things. Especially in 2 and 3 when you can't even revisit those stages. Yeah. I mean, I think the big moment for me, which was a moment I watched you have, was like the seventh time they put you through the Gutsman lifts, and you're like, hold on, I have the Magnet Beam, why don't I just use that? <laughs> and it took me like seven or eight times before I realized I could just do that, too. This is the thing I hate right here. This thing they ripped off from Super Mario World. Where are you going, little floaty guy? Ow. Okay, not so bad, but I'm pretty sure it's coming back. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Ross Damn Angle it. says, I think for the sake of curation, it's nice to be able to repeat parts of the game to study it, so save states are good for that. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. Oh. I think you can only keep one save state in this game, though, so that kind of sucks at the same time. Look at this poor jumpy guy back here. Which I believe virtual console. You got a problem? You only have one. Sorry. It'll be really interesting to see what Endeavor's Digital Eclipse has next for their Criterion deal. Is that what the, they did the port with or whatever? Yeah, well, their whole thing really is like preservation of Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of have a feeling they sort of like collaborated with Capcom for some startup money or something in exchange for Mega Man being their first project. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of future they have. Yeah, it's like Nintendo kind of handles it on their own already, so... But not as well. So I don't have very... I think I have one NES Virtual Console game. Especially just because I got it through Club Nintendo before it died. Especially because Nintendo intentionally darkens all their Virtual Console games. But I guess I question, like... What big NES series are there that aren't Nintendo-owned that they could work on? I guess Castlevania, but then Konami probably doesn't care, because <laughs> they're just like, Pachinko, that's where it's at. Well, as long as Konami doesn't have to pay much money for it. True. Poor Konami. No, I'm terrible at Dark Souls, but I've never really tried to play it that much. I have never played Dark Souls. Um, that 
PlayStation exclusive they did that was not Dark Souls that I'm forgetting the name of looked pretty cool from what I've seen. Oh, but... Bloodborne? Yeah. Bloodborne was really cool. Um, my friend Dina in Japan got it, and I don't know if it's the kind of game I would play because I don't really get into vampires and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, it was super beautiful, and the action looked really fun. It was a bit more forgiving than something like Dark Souls 2 because you could sort of dart around faster. But of course, if any, if like an enemy hits you, it would still do a humongous chunk of damage. Yeah, Monster Hunter can be a pretty brutal game at times too. Um, no, Midori is not some anime character. At least the Midori who I am. I guess if you watch something like Midori no Hi. That would be a Midori in an anime, but that's not who I am. I am small little cat girl Midori. Who is also another character, but we won't go into that right now. Ow. Oh, I thought I could do this no damage. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, just jump already. Like, I don't get it. Why is he even. Why is he Dark Man? What, what is. What's the theme there? I, I'm not. I. I don't know if. Like, I don't know, just because he's called Darkman, I don't know if he's in the same league as, like, other Robot Masters. Oh, well, that's true, yeah. But then Robot Masters weren't really a thing in Japan, so it's like... I, I just don't know. In Ariga's comics, they have personalities. They actually have really funny personalities. But... I don't know if they're really supposed to in the games. I liked how they did, uh... I liked how the Archie comics did Doc Robot a lot. I thought that was weird. It was, but I think that's why I liked it. Because Doc Robot's kind of weird to begin with. Well, I guess the difference is, at least as far as Mega Man 3 goes, I always imagined um, there being multiple Doc Robots. Yeah. I didn't like... And the only reason I kind of point this out is because... Do you remember Mal, uh, Malgrim? No. Maybe I was... I don't, know, I don't know if I want to say before your time, but like... That was a... He, that was a guy who... Uh, ran an old, old... Oh, is it right or left? I always forget. Left? I think, yes. Yes. Yeah, I've screwed it up going yes. right multiple times now. Oh! Oh... Oh. So right, Malgrim. He ran one of the first websites to actually uh, do with Rockman. Like that's how I that's how I learned Mega Man was called Rockman in Japan, and there's like all these details from the Japanese games and blah blah blah. Right. And he wrote he wrote like fan fiction about Rockman, which was like slightly dark and gritty and stuff. Am I thinking? Am I thinking the right person now? Because I don't think you ever actually wrote about Mega Man Three. But some maybe I'm thinking of Miranda Pa. That's how her name is pronounced. You know uh, the Mega Man. Yeah, home that game. one I remember. Yeah, I bet that page is still up. I, I I like look at it every three or four years when I remember it. Well, the strategy guides are still pretty decent, so yeah. But, um, and she wrote a lot of fanfiction, too. I mean, that's what we all did back in the day, was write fanfiction. Oh, wonderful fanfiction. But, um... Well, that's kind of still what people do, but yeah. Probably, I, it's I, just... It's not the same, though, because, like... People don't just have their own sites anymore. Now it's all on DeviantArt, or... Like, uh, some true. special fanfiction compendium site or something. Yeah, we Boy, had... That was a dumb idea, not destroying that guy. We had we had Geo Cities and stuff. Oh yeah. I don't think you can destroy that guy because if then you go back, he'll respawn anyway. You might be. Yeah, I died like four <laughs> times. <to that. laughs> 
Yeah, this is where things got really <laughs> ugly for me. I did, when I finally oh made it through God, to the I'm boss, I had to go. Oh, my hand is shaking. Okay, I'm better. What the hell anyway, are you talking I just, about? <laughs> I like the, I, I liked how how Archie made it, that he pretty much loaded up all eight of the Masters from two at once into Doc Robot, and it just made him completely insane. Right, but, like... But but then he's not even, like, a... Doc Robot's not even a person, necessarily. He's just all of them in one body. Yeah, he's a shell. And I like, don't... They pretty much built him to test Robot Master AI before they make a full body for him. I guess, but the thing, like, that... I question is like, why is that a good idea? It isn't. Because even when they're talking about making it, uh, Rock and Roll are both like, wait, so, like, M Mega Man's the only robot in the world that can copy all of the, the abilities, and everyone's always talking about how dangerous he is, so why would we make another one that can do the same thing? I... And it's pretty much, like, it was Dr. Wily's idea that he fooled Do Dr. Light into doing. Well, like, here's... I, I, I get that they probably did it because they couldn't take time to focus on there being eight Doc Robots and whatever. Yeah, and you'd have to be able to tell them apart and... Oh, and you right. can just make them different colors for that, but... but... I did not know this thing was called Big Pets. It's kind of a dumb name. I'm, I've always yeah. wondered if there's, like, if it's a reference to something or if it means something, but so far I haven't been able to figure it out. But anyway, no, no, I'm not done with this. I'm not done with... Oh, God. Ow. <laughs> um... No, yeah, keep going. It just doesn't make sense to me because... Like, well, in Mega Man 3, he he does that because the Robot Masters are dead. Like, those like those Mega Man 2 Robot Masters are gone, but he still had, like, the weapon data. Right. So, he was able to use that. But, in the comic, all, all the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters are functioning and working. Yeah. They're around. So wouldn't it just make sense to have all eight of them attack Mega Man? Instead yeah, of putting yeah. all of them in this one body where they couldn't really cooperate with each other? Like, how is that a better idea? I don't know. Darn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Maybe it was a, uh, desperation move. A desperation move would just be, get all eight Robot Masters and be like, Hey, kill Mega Man! Like, fight him at once! They could have even kind of done that in the comic, like just had. I Pretty don't much know. when when they crossed over with Sonic and they had to fight, fight every Robot Master once, uh, all every Robot Master ever at once. Yeah. No, I'm not. I am. Um, I'm not a very big anime fan. Uh, Jags, by the way, welcome to the chat. I don't believe I've said hello yet. If I haven't said hello to you, I'm sorry. I'm getting like a lot of new people in the in the stream this time. That's really cool. But no, not a huge anime fan. I was when I was a bit younger. I don't want to say how old I am now, but I am kind of old. We're old. <laughs> I don't. I I can't really say I'm like an '80s girl because I was. I sort of grew up in the between point of the '80s and '90s. So. So, like, the anime I watched, of course, was, like, Dragon Ball Z, like, Toonami stuff. What did they have? Gundam Wing, Dragon Ball Z, they had Big O for a while, that Big O was really cool. Sailor Moon, yeah, of course. I, I haven't actually read much of the Mega Man comic, but I've heard very good things, aside from the fact that didn't they basically cancel it? Uh, if they put it on hiatus, which I don't... You know, if this were Capcom, we'd be like, okay, yeah, it's dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but... I mean, I thought it was doing well, so I don't know why they'd drop it. It sounded like it's doing alright, but I don't know. I haven't... I, ha I, did not, I haven't caught up with it recently. I did not... I did not read any of the Worlds Unite arc yet, which just sounded completely ridiculous. Like, in a good way. Yeah. Jags guessing is guessing you're 24. Oh my god. Yes, you're exactly right, Jags. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I 
This song is really cool. It kind of zones you out, though. Can't hear it. Oh. Well, you know the Wily song, though, right? Um, I can't just it's break like, all it off the top of my head. It's kind of this epic ballad sort of song, but it's not, you know, it's not quite fast-paced. That's not what I want. Despite uh, the fact that it was just here not that long ago, so... Come on. Or, well, no, I didn't actually beat Big Pets. That's where I gave up. Oh, is that where you gave up? Okay. I thought you gave up in the Proto Man stage. No, I got to Big Pets with no lives left, and I got sloppy and died, and then... Wow, how did you, like, have no lives left? I this lost, game gives like, you so many lives. Stage. Also, did he just... Was he already green, or did he turn green when you switched to the gyro attack? He was already... He was always green. Okay. This is a boss I really... Well, I know I can do this buster only. It just it I takes time. I felt like I was seeing things there for a second. This boss is super weird. I don't know how they had the idea for this. <laughs> yeah. Just whatever. And then it shoots over my head. Okay, great. So as long as... That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look. As long as I keep doing this, I'm good. Hello? Kevin! What? Oh, I thought you, like, took off. No. Let's plug in my controller back in. Sorry, what are you gonna take a look at? I'm gonna go look in the database to see what it has to say about this box. Uh. And what, like, what its deal is. Because some of the... they do list... they do talk about that in some of the database entries of, like, what the boss was for You're or whatever. making so much noise! Is the game, like, really loud? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me change that. Fix that. You could just mute it. You don't need you don't need audio to check a thing. Well, I might play, <laughs> too, to be totally honest. Um... Shoot. I... As... Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. I okay. think. As sort of vain as it sounds, I, I really wish I had, like, worked on those things, because I basically translated all that information, like, way back when. Um... Sirkring Q9, a yeah. giant robot that protects itself with ring-like armor. You'll take damage if you try to chase it too far, so wait until it that doesn't tell me anything. I think <laughs> I was just hoping it would be more interesting. <laughs> I think it's just a bizarre wily robot, so it doesn't really have, like background big pets remodeled from an amusement park guide robot okay <laughs> that's interesting still not getting the whole big pets thing but I know. could I could see it being recycled from an amusement park ride but I don't know about a guide post So you're on the boss rush now. Yep, I'm just using weapons now because I don't care. I yeah, you already all... proved yourself. That's fine. I beat him all with Buster. We'll do something different just to keep it interesting. Or I guess I could use weapons that are totally ineffective against them. <laughs> I don't know. I could try to beat them with their own weapons. That would be interesting. Actually, no, that'd be kind of a pain in the... Well, that might make it fun if it's a... if it's difficult. Depends on what happens when you use their weapon. Because, like... What game was it where, like, most of them were immune to their own weapon? I'm not or, like, sure what... Them? I'm not sure what that is. In Mega Man 3, all the bosses are somewhat weak to their own weapon. Yeah, they can all die in, like, seven hits from their own weapon or something like that. Okay, this is actually really boring. <laughs> I think in 7, there's a whole bunch of bosses that, like, if you hit them with the wrong thing, they either, like, they heal or they do some- they have some attack that they don't ordinarily use. Yeah, you know, do there's a lot of interesting things there. Wow, I ran out of gyro attack. I know, uh, when I was playing 2 the other night on my stream, I ran out of bubble lead on the final boss. Oh, so you're screwed. And I did not know what happened if you tried to use other weapons, and I tried to hit him with a quick <laughs> boomerang, and he only had one hit to go. Oh. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. 
<laughs> I like. I think by the time I ever got to him as a kid, I already knew what weapon to use, so I never questioned. I never had that trial and error period of trying to figure out what to use. I just oh. already knew. Yeah, he didn't know he healed to full. If you hit him with, I think any other weapon heals him to full. Pretty much, yep. Yeah, um, Andy, or Dark Napalm, who we were talking about earlier, hates Mega Man 2. And so that's, we've always kind of like... Why? Contested that. Because, like, it's funny because we both, we both hate the Mega Man games that the other loves. But, um... Which one is the one you hate? Eight. It's alright. No, it's it's horrible. But Certainly a weird game, but of course, of course, he likes it because he's like an artist, right? And he likes all like how yeah. animated and everyone. Yeah, is. I like how the robot masters have so much life in that game. Like, I'd I'd rather imagine what their personalities are than be presented with it, because like a lot of the robot masters were goofy, and it was hard hard to take them seriously. That's true, yeah. Like, but. Was that because the voice acting was terrible? I can't keep that in, in mind. part. <laughs> sure, in part. Yeah, that was a sloppy fight. Um, why does he hate too? I think just because of its unrefined quality to it and its difficulty. But one of the big reasons he hates it, and honestly, as much as I love to, I have to give him this. There are parts of the game that will pretty much screw you if you don't do it right. Yeah. And... Yeah, I was actually talking about that on the stream when I was playing it. I was like, there's there's like these rooms in the fortress where you don't know what to do, and then if you're caught without the item number you need, you just can't do it. Right. And one does it too, but it's not nearly as bad, I don't think. Like, like there are parts in the fortresses that you need the magnet beam for if you don't have any magnet beam energy. Well, too bad. It's easy to get it back, but like you could go to the fortress and not have the magnet beam at all. And just true. And if you never thought to try to get that interesting thing that was sitting in Gutsman stage, you would you'd just be stuck. Yeah. Funny thing is that actually happened in Mega Man Nine. Um, in the first Wily stage, there's a part where it has those humongous magma beams. Yeah. And you have to solidify them with the concrete weapon in order to climb up them and continue. Yeah. And. I tell you, the week that game came out, no less than five friends of mine messaged me and asked, How do you beat this part? I just can't figure it out at all. Because, it, you know, it doesn't make sense to shoot concrete at magma and that's, harden it. That's true, I never really thought of it that way. The only reason I knew it was because I watched some gameplay preview where they showed it off. But I have to imagine, if I never saw that, I'd have been stuck too. I don't remember how I figured it out. I think you can, like, rush coil your way past it if, you're re if your timing is, like, really, really good. Yeah. But if you can't do that, yeah, you're basically screwed. Mega Man 9 had... It's good, but it had some really unfair design. Yeah, it did. It had, like... There was also a... Uh... ROM hack level of stage design. And that's just not cool in a professionally made game. Like, not really in the same light as, uh... The concrete beams that you just pointed out, but there was also, like... The oh. first stage has that, like, first area with all the platforms that you need the tornado blow to lift. Oh, and if yeah. You, and if you run out of tornado blow, then that's it. Like... You, you might be able to, like, rush coil your something. way through that. I don't remember. Maybe. And I think they even trick you by having, like, too many platforms, and you don't necessarily have to use them all, and... That was stupid. Did I just screw myself on this boss? I think I did. Well, I might as well use all these energy tanks, because I have them, and this is the last battle. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I have seven tanks. I'm, I'm trying to finish my own clear of five that I gave up on earlier, because it was pissing me. Big pets is giving for me trouble at the moment. The super exciting final battle. And by the way, here's Beat. Remember, he's in the game. Remember Beat? Yeah, he's a this thing. Is, he's a feature. Like all you really have to use him for. 
Beast just gonna take care of everything. You have to go through all that trouble of unlocking him. I know. It's like, this is all he does. This is all, all he's good for. I wonder if there's a faster way to beat that boss, though. I'm not sure, because I think the only other thing that can damage it is charged shots. That's probably not faster. Because I know, um, I know gyro attack bounces off, because that's one of the only weapons you can, like, hit it with. Yeah. Oh, I love doing that. Beat knows where you are, Dr. Wily. Mostly because, like, they have the challenge to do all the final bosses. I like how Funky's like, you can do it! It's like, <laughs> um, sweetie, this is actually super easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to, you can just focus on dodging his crap. Um, this is one of the least challenging Wily battles in all of Mega Man. Certainly not Mega Man 7. That one's pretty rough. Mega Man 7's really rough, yeah. Oh. Oh, I used up all my beat energy, that's weird. I mean I could use an M tank and get it back, was it, but was it not full? I don't I don't know. It must I don't think have you somehow... used it on any of the sentinels, right? Nah, this is the first time I used beat at all. Yeah, that's weird. Still got him, but What was I gonna say? Crap. Oh yeah, they have the challenge to do all the final bosses in a row. And oh. like the, the one from five takes forever because you just have to sit there and wait for Beat to do his thing. And I was like, <laughs> is there a faster way to do this to save some time, or...? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> I think I still had a silver on that one, so I'm probably not going to go back to it anytime soon, but... I don't think I'm going to get obsessive and go for all golds or anything. That would be the hardest one to do. I feel like... I feel like you'd have to be, like, super tricky to do it fast, like, hit it with a, like, right when he appears, if he's on level with you, hit him with a charge shot, and then pause and summon Beat, and maybe Beat can get another shot on, or maybe vice versa, I don't know. Um, I guess I have to watch the credits to get a medal for this? I think you get it as soon as you beat the boss. I didn't mean, I don't know if it would come up or not. What time is it? I have my phone right here. Um... I know the 11:45. I could play another game. The first four games, you get the achievement as soon as you beat the boss. <clears throat> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll find out. I'm almost there. Except the, the credits will be over by the time I get there, so it's not helpful. Yeah, Marina. Proto Man's like slinking away, like, oh, I'm never gonna talk to these guys again. <laughs> Later, losers. Do I need... I do need weapon energy. What do I need? Wait, when did I start streaming? How long did it take me to beat this game? It's probably only like two hours. Less than. Ah, yeah, oh yeah. Like, this game should be beatable in under an Wait, hour. Wait, we've been on Skype for an hour and a half, so... Really? Well, we were testing for a bit. I don't know how long. Really? Not for that long. It was probably like an hour and 20, hour 15, maybe. Wow, really? Am I that slow? This should be an easy game to beat. It shouldn't take that long. You sent some congrats art via Twitter. Let me look at that. Part of my problem with Twitter is probably that I don't have it on my phone. Probably should. I to be, be serious about it. Oh my god, that's so cute! Thank you, Maho, I love it! I wonder if I can... I kind of look like Samus. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can tumble that. I think I'll do Mega Man 6 next. It's, I'm not like... No stone. 
Like, it's not too late. It, it's kind of late, but... I'd probably say the only one not to do is three, because that one's kind of a little bit longer. Three takes a while, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry if this is boring with the credits. I'm just I'm messing with my phone. Can I, can I not add another picture to this? Oh no. Oh. Yeah, this ring boss is kind of stupid. If anything, this looks like the one that's an amusement park ride. Oh, well, I can't. I can't add an image to a reblog on my Tumblr phone app. That's annoying. Darn, I'll have to add it later. Uh, maybe I should do a reblog still that says I'm still playing. Tumblr is weird. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tumble that picture later though. Thank you so much, Maho, that's so awesome, I love it. Uh wait. I think uh, I think one of my complaints with the Legacy collection is that it's just the first six games. I hope I got a thing for that. Like I feel like it could have been they could have included seven and eight and nine and ten as well and even a tr properly translated not on a tiny screen Mega Man and, ba and Bass base. Well, they Why could just I use the Super that? Nintendo version. Well, yeah, but they'd have to like properly code the translation. Is my point. That shouldn't yeah. be too hard. Nah, it should be pretty easy. I mean, I feel like it was probably easiest and cost-effective just to focus on the Nintendo games, because they're all... Probably. I'm guessing they're all a, a similar programming. I don't I don't know how uh, Nintendo games work exactly. Yeah, and if that's what these guys like, specialize in, they already knew how to do it. They didn't have to worry about the other ones. That picture of Mr. X always looks like... I know that's the glare, like the light reflecting off his glasses, but it always looks like his eyes are just... He has super humongous pupils. And he's just <laughs> staring off. You know what I'm talking about. No, I've actually never really... I've never seen it like that. That's why it's so funny. <laughs> so this is a... Um, this is another game where I can... I, I think I'm pretty sure I can beat everyone with just the buster. But I don't really want to do it all randomly. Because I want to get the... I want to get, like, the rush power so I can actually get the beat parts without having to revisit the stages, because I just don't have any patience to go through the stages again. So for now... Right, yeah, the, the stupid alternate path crap that you gotta do in this yeah. game. Yeah. Just forget about that. For now, it's, um... Let's choose between either flame or plant. Who should I do? Flame or plant? Right now. Plant. Okay. That's interesting. I start with flame, so... I usually start with flame, too. Why do you start with flame? That's just... The order I learned when I was a kid, really. Do you know... You don't think there's any reason for that? I mean, he's... Doable. With <laughs> Buster. I mean, well... I, I, I think he gives one of the armors. He does. I never really paid attention to that being why I went in that order. I'm guessing Plant gives you the other one. I'm pretty sure he does, unless I'm horribly I, mistaken. I do, know, I do know that starting with Flame pretty much means you're gonna have... You're gonna have the stuff when you come to the stages with the alternate paths. Right. So. Well, some require the power suit and some require the jet suit. Um, but I start with flame because that's what Nintendo Power told me to do. <laughs> and virtually, I think pretty much all the Mega Man games, the first guy I would normally start with is because that's what Nintendo Power recommended. I was actually surprised when I was playing through 4 that Drill Man's the one that gives you the rush jet. And I was like, well, you don't really need it in the other stages, so it's not a big deal, but it's weird that... You don't really need it at all, except until, like, Cossack. Yeah. That's kind of a dumb way to go about it, I guess. Like, I don't know. I guess they do the same thing in Mega Man 3, but... There are so many more stages between the bosses and Wily. Yeah. So there's... And some of those stages, some of like those Doc Robot Master stages, are ridiculously designed. They just have tons yeah, of empty pits like that span on forever, so or mazes of spikes. 
That's like, I would probably say 3 is the best game if it weren't for that, because that's such a, such a block. This is an interesting little mini-boss. See, for as weird as 6 is, it kind of gets back to the basics, like it has... Actually, no, 6's weapons are terrible. Probably, I think 6's weapons are even worse than 5's. But there's more gimmicks, like these springs are really fun. There's like a lot of physics-based gimmicks in this game. Darn it. Darn it! I actually mean I really hate that part. Yeah, there's like a lot of neat physics-based obstacles, um... Shoot, I forgot all the other stuff. Oh, there's like mid-bosses again, those are fun. Mostly. Yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of interesting stuff happening in this game. I don't know why people dislike Six so much. I guess the master designs are kind of... They're really hokey, and... Yeah. In this, yeah. Day, in this day and age, I... Yes, slightly offensive. I would never, I would never like complain about it, but no, especially since it's an older game. Like, I did if... the same damn thing again. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, now I'm like, I'm actually a little pissed off now. I actually didn't catch what happened. <laughs> That's fine. It's not a big deal. You should be watching the comments. They're probably making fun of me right now. Um, go, go do damage no. control. Looks looks pretty good. <laughs> when we when you asked about doing flame or plant first, yeah, I saw that. Two smart asses said flame and plane. <laughs> um, that's my that's my audience. Mind. That's the kind of audience I cater to. This stage reminds Ross of Sting Chameleon. I can see that. Um, five left. Crystal man, I hate this guy. Why is my stream buffering? Like, that's kind of how I'm actually paying attention to what's going on at the moment. Oh my god, finally. Physics intensifies. I guess there's no real reason to go up here. I knew that thing was coming back. I hate this part so much. This is the worst. This might be the most difficult part of the game. <gasps> really? Oh my god, this is depressing. I don't think I... I don't really have problems with that part. I, I just... I freak out so much. <sighs> I, I, I don't know why, but it just makes me so tense. Oh crap, I don't have any Star Crash. That's bad. Apparently, Wily's first form in 5 is Tweet the Starcraft, which I never knew. And the, the one the one thing that would make this better, which is Jet Suit, I don't have it yet. Oh God. That's the one you get from Plant Man, yeah. right? <laughs> no, I'm not dealing with that. <sighs> Rocket, don't give him any ideas. Make the whole game springs. There are springs in other stages, too. I think Yamato Man stage has springs. Um, I don't remember whose stage that is. I remember what section you're talking about. It's either Knight or Yamato. I think it's Yamato. It has like weird capsule springs. Oh my god, I'm so upset with myself. Like now I'm thinking about it too much. Get out of here, grasshoppers. Bugs. I don't like bugs. Yeah, I'm doing Buster only on the final boss. What of it? Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I had to say something. He's one shot away. Why don't you, uh... Oh, you already beating it? I was gonna say, go ahead and experiment and see what other weapons work. Oh, no, this is... Oh, 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 on the on the final final boss. I'm still on the first stage. Oh, okay. 
I still kind of consider that final okay. boss. I'm just gonna have to shut up for this whole part here. I do like those little power-up flowers. It's, it's weird that they put that in, but it's kind of cute at the same time. I think that's the fun of six, though. Like, there's just a bunch of stuff that's there just because. I mean, right, really, that's the fun with any game. But maybe that's what five lacks. But yeah, no, I can see that. Oh my god. Okay. Plant Man, I'm still going to wreck you. Oh my god. Good thing you can easily get locked in a stupid pattern. Yeah. The pattern of inevitable defeat, as I call it. <laughs> I think one of the really weird things about this game, and I don't... I was talking about this before, I think. when Maybe when we're doing some of the challenges or something. But all of the robot masters will bounce off walls. Uh, yeah. I think most of them do, yeah. There might be a few that don't, but... Well, I think the only ones that don't is because they don't actually jump up against walls. Like... Like, Centaur Man or something. But... Oh, oh, just in 6? Yeah, just in 6. Oh, okay. I was thinking, like... First one that came to mind was Bomb Man, like he doesn't bounce off, but I didn't realize you meant Justin Six. Bomb Man, I don't know if Bomb Man, I don't think Bomb Man does it. What I mean is like, all right, like what Plant Man just did. Yeah, if you imagine well, stream, if but... you imagine the 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 arc they jump in having a path, right? But the they got interrupted by a wall. They would continue their arc, just flipped in the opposite direction. Yeah, and all the robot masters that jump do that. Anyway, I'll do Flame Man next because I yeah, which is it's, it's peculiar, yeah, because I don't think that happens in it, most of the other games. It kind of comes like it's not really important, I guess, but it kind of comes off like lazy programming. Maybe, especially because they all do that. Maybe it's because they realize their patterns are all pretty bland, so they did that to make them spice them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Robot Master patterns got really like dumb <laughs> like i want to i want to say from five on well this is the one i had the most luck with buster only i just ran out of time eventually but like i was actually able to do it and i think that's because the patterns are pretty simple they are it's like the early robot masters and then when you get back into nine and ten this happens again a lot of their attack patterns are based on where you're standing or in kind of in reaction to what you're doing so they'll change it up in part because they're reacting to you whereas in like like five through eight all the robot masters just sort of do their own thing and it's whatever yeah and, and when you learn the pattern to that there's no challenge whatsoever They'll, like, they'll turn towards you, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, in, in, like, in, like, one through four, a lot of the boss rooms had, like, interesting layouts, too. Mm, yes. I think five and six are all just empty rooms. Pretty much, yeah. Floors. I don't have anything to destroy. Oh, no, I could technically... I always thought it was check. funny that, like, in Mega Man 1 on Game Boy... Flashman's pattern is incredibly predictable, and he has the same pattern in two, but since the room is set up differently, you can't really notice. Yeah. Oh god, Flash- Doc Robot Flashman was such a pain, but I don't know if you watched me play that. I don't think I watched you play three, no. Yeah, I tried to do a Buster-only run of three, and Doc Robot destroyed that. Like, it pretty much wasted all my- I used up all my energy tanks trying to do that. And then, I think I, I didn't have any left by the time I got to Doc Robot Woodman, and he's the worst to do Buster only. Right side of the 
final stage in five taking so long is the music's really cool. <laughs> you get to actually enjoy it. Ow. Bastard. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're gonna corner me like that, huh? The wall cannons remind Ross of the X1s, of the moving can wall cannons in X1. I hated those things. <laughs> Where'd Beat go? Get back here. We're not done yet. Gosh, X1 is such a good game. Yeah. Yeah, no, other, no further comment needed. <laughs> just yes. I like, I should stream that, but it would be totally, it would just be me doing my normal kind of thing. Although I have considered trying to stream myself playing X1 and going to Chill Penguin last. That would be interesting. What, so you'd like no armor? Yeah, pretty much. Like no dashing is what's really difficult. I ran out of beat, too. How did that happen? Yeah, isn't that weird? I wonder if it's a glitch. Anyway... Yeah, I got the achievement for five as soon as I finished the last form, so that's probably when you got it and you missed it. Rory, I don't know what to tell you. That's not what I'm streaming, but maybe there's a glitch. I don't know. What? I don't know. I was saying something about flashing lights and loud noises. I don't, I don't, maybe I'm being trolled? I think he's being sarcastic. Okay, that's fine. I mean, there are a lot of flashing lights in Mega Man games. <laughs> if he came in right when a boss was being summoned, it has, like, those lightning strikes going off. From this point, I think I can go tackle any Robot Master since I have all the Rush adapters now. So, who should I pick? Centaur. Centaur, it is. And after that, it can be viewer request. That way we don't have to wait for the first one. Yeah, because that guy went on to say, why is there no content for people over 50 on, well, <laughs> on YouTube? I think on, Honestly, it's like we're probably going to be getting there before long. But when they'll have made like the 8th Mega Man NES collection. <laughs> For, it still won't be for, for an Nintendo our 20, For our 24K TVs. We'll be playing Mega Man Legacy Collection in movie theaters, which would actually be pretty damn cool. <laughs> what? That is so offensive. <laughs> what? But it's funny. <laughs> I'm I, I 61 years this. old, and all, and all I want is classic American games, checkers, chess, tic-tac-toe, ever heard of it? Fruitcakes? Jeebus. That's why we're losing to the Chinese and the immigrants. Okay. <laughs> we don't need that kind of talk here. Ross, does everything remind you of Mega Man X? Not that that would be a bad thing. <laughs> Do bananas remind you of Mega Man X? Um, I can't remember. Did X actually come out before 6? It did. That's that's what I thought, but I wasn't entirely sure. That guy really wrecked me. I, re I just remember, like, I, I think Nintendo handled, like... Yeah, Nintendo like published distribution six. or something publishing for six because Capcom didn't even want to bring it here because the Super Nintendo was already taking off. And apparently, the same thing happened for seven in Canada, but I might be mistaken. Eddie, you're being super sweet to me for this playthrough. I've been getting mostly energy tanks. <laughs> I think one of the things I really dislike about this game, I already said that the weapons are all really boring and pointless, but all of them just make the buster sound too. Really? Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> Giving you a charge shot just makes the normal buster sound. It's like, that's so lame. Alright. Okay, and that's, you know, that's the other thing though, the jet and power adapters are so cool. Yeah, they're a pretty interesting concept. The jet one especially, that's so fun to play with. Like, that's that's pretty much what I expected his final smash to be in Smash, but I'm like I'm glad they went with what they went with, but Sure. When it came to drawing stuff from the games, I was like, uh, what else could you use? Like it would it would have to be one of those suits, I think. Like the Super Mega Man from the seven. Yeah. Cause I think we even debated about that, like would they use content from other like Mega Man series? Yeah, early on. <laughs> you can freeze me, but you can't freeze my shots. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I came up with. Like, I'm, I'm glad they didn't just use, like, some move of his from Marvel vs. Capcom or something, because that probably would have been dumb. Well, you imagine, like, when he does his Hyper or Ultra or whatever and turns into yeah. a big anime robot? Yeah. And ultimately, it would have just been, like, a clone of Samus's Final Smash, so... What's next? No one- I don't think anyone suggested anything. I don't think so. The only other thing I thought of was summoning Beat for the final smash. <laughs> Which would have been funny. Or Tango. Should have summoned both, actually. That would have been pretty cool. And just let him just rampage all across all the stage. Animal Pals? <clears throat> um, well, shoot, if no one's going to say anything, I'll just go in alphabetical order. I'm going to say Yamato next. After Blizzard, that's not if no, one, if no one else comes up with anything. Okay. <laughs> do I want to go do six now too, or? Nah, you know what? I've I'll have a bunch of friends coming over tomorrow because I'm my weekly Friday thing. So uh -huh. I'll do six then maybe. Hmm. If we don't wind up playing Smash or anything. What, Ooh. like your friends watching? Just instead. Gonna... Yeah, they enjoy watching that sometimes. Or I'll start doing that, like, before they get here. While I wait for them, or something. Alright. Craig's channel. Who is Craig? Craig is some guy from... Giant Bomb? Like, I don't necessarily know why he got to make a challenge, but I guess, I don't know. Ow. So, why did, I, one why did I not think to slide into that? God, not the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing challenges now, huh? Yeah. Fun, fun. Instead of just doing six as I watch you do six. <laughs> I'll be constantly like two stages behind. And... Do you notice that if you hold B when you're transitioning between the sections, it changes the stars to birds like in two? I thought it did that randomly. I, I get... thought it was random, but I'm pretty sure it's when you're holding B. Okay, yeah, I might have just done it on accident then. Yeah, I did it on accident a few times, but then eventually I was like, you know, that might be linked to something. Marina is wondering if this game contains the secret from Mega Man 9. It probably doesn't, but it's pretty interesting how everyone at Capcom who knew the Mega Man 9 secret is now dead. 
Or, well, doesn't work at Capcom anymore. Really? I think so. Well, I don't know. Greg might know it. Oh, right. Firestorm takes out these pickaxe guys and guts fan stage really <laughs> easy. Yes. I was so excited to learn that. God, that's useful. Oh, more lasers! Honestly, we should petition Capcom, like, for the 30th anniversary, they have to say what the Mega Man 9 secret was. They'll probably feign ignorance, though. It's probably nothing special. I bet it- yeah. <clears throat> but they claimed it was something people could find. I think I messed up. I'm sure there is some, like, um... goofy little secret in there, but... <laughs> I, I really think it just became a thing to sort of generate buzz for the game. Probably. So... That's what I expect. They probably also realize if they reveal it, like... It's just gonna be... <coughs> everyone's just gonna be disappointed because it's gonna be something stupid. Alright, you said Yamato next, so I'll do that. Oops. Rocket, what kind of what kind of foods remind you of Mega Man X? <laughs> All of them. <coughs> Little tiny yeah, robot shooting you know, balls at me. That's I have a terrible frog in my throat tonight for some reason. <laughs> if you were a furry, that'd be normal. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember what the final boss in 2 is weak to. Blades? The final boss in 2? I usually use metal blades, yeah. Wait, everything's weak to blades? For, for uh, the first, actually, the first phase, it's <clears> you <throat> can use charged atomic fire. I think two of those will destroy it for the first <clears throat> phase. I mentioned this during the stream when you were playing too, but I don't know if you caught it. But one of, I think both of the forms are actually weak to Crash Bomber. It's just you would never know it because you're always out of energy by the time you reach that point in the game. Could be. Why don't you try it? <clears throat> that was another thing I found out by reading the, uh... Actually, I think I, I did it in one of the challenges just out of desperation, because I was like, something has to be better than Metal Blades. And I tried it, and it did a ton of damage. I was like, why have I never tried that before? Oh yeah, because I just used all of them on that stupid room. <clears throat> I think the thing with, like, Crash Bomb is... Things... <clears throat> Things aren't weak to being hit by the bomb itself, but by the explosion, and that's so hard to, to line up, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> now the final boss, you can just shoot him right in the face. It works. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what does it it's do one of those things where like you still have to have the entire tank to be able to take him out, though. Oh, so it just does four damage? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unless maybe the second form, it takes more damage? I don't know. I used it on the first form there. Oh, wait, this is Yamato Man stage and it didn't have springs. Maybe it's Nightman stage that has the springs. Alright, you guys are going nuts talking about Mega Man X. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream that sometime, but please let it go. You can't just let Mega Man X go. Try to let it go. Um... Going back to what you're saying about uh, what what Andy dislikes about two, mm -hmm. uh, like I can I can see what he means because oh, it yeah. does. Like I feel like three is where the engine really got really tight and started to feel correct. I guess. Uh huh. Um, yeah, and two it was like two was better than one, but like in one it's really kind of slippery and. Doing one of the, the Mega Man 1 remixes, which is why that came up. I see. He's about as slippery as Mario is. Your controller is super clicky. It's a GameCube controller. It's a, oh. it's so a, that's the sound of Smash. Yet another, yet another flaw in it. Clack, click, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, like. Yeah, like. I'd, I'd say go look up somebody playing Smash Brothers Melee. 
mm -hmm. and where they have audio and you can hear their controller. Oh, I the, can. You just hear. <laughs> it's just the sound of Smash. I don't know if you know Style Styles X2, but I follow him. I'm aware of him. I don't watch his stuff, but I know who it is. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I just died. Okay, so let's just restart this challenge. I'm not doing well. <laughs> yeah, I watch his stuff. Um, I think he's a um, Mega Man player, actually. Yeah, he, he's like a Mega, Mega Man fan, so that's, that's kind of why I know him. But He's like one of the only Mega Man players in Smash. He's good. I don't like, think many people like our boot bomber. Sad to say. I mean, he's he's pretty tough to use one on one, as far as I know, and I'm I'm terrible at Smash, yeah. so I can't comment on that. I like using him in group matches because you can just stand back and pick on people. Even then, he's not terribly good at that either. Not really, I guess. Experience. Honestly, for me, he's like he's the one character I'm good with just because I play as him the most anyway. Yeah. Because he's Mega Man, he's awesome, and he's cute. I haven't, uh, I don't think I've had any good matches with with Mega Man lately. I mean, we play random, so if I don't get him random, I'm not, I'm not getting him. <clears throat> All of my good Smash matches lately have been Pokemon, oddly enough. <clears throat> well, I, I saw that they, like, super buffed Charizard. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, I had a good Charizard set the other night, as well as a good Mewtwo set. Gosh, Eddie, that was so rude, wasn't it? Hmm? He pops out this energy capsule, and I'm just like, nope, no thanks, walk on by. <laughs> Do I need that? I've got four energy tanks, I'm fine. Here's the springs. This is actually kind of cool. Because there's springs on the floor and the ceiling, and you just bounce all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this has nothing to do with, like, medieval knights, I guess, but it's still cool. Oh, uh, was it? I was actually thinking of the moving, like, the conveyor part. That's in Yamato. Yeah, thing. that's in Yamato. Yeah, that's the part I was thinking of. Because those have spring enemies jumping around them. That's true. <laughs> Even more springs. That's what I was thinking. This game has a lot of springs. Knight is fairly, slightly challenging with the, just the buster, because you can block your shots so easily. Yeah. But he's still not that bad, I don't think. Um... Yes, yeah, so, uh, Sonic takes a little getting used to in Smash, but he has a lot of fun once you get used to how to play him. Hmm. It's a lot of cool I stuff think he's too fast do. for me. He is very fast, yeah. Hello. Just ran right up to my face. Why am I doing so bad? I am bad at Mega Man 1, I, I know, but I'm just not doing well at all. <laughs> ah, hell. You're not even watching me play, jeez. I am watching you play still. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just a little behind. You only just got the Nightman on the stream, so... Oh, but you're not watching the... The, the Skype feed? No, because I have Mega Man full screen. Oh. It doesn't show it up in the corner for some reason. It used to, but then Skype changed that. Why? Because that's what Microsoft does, is we change things that aren't broken. Rocket, you can just make a whole database of all the similarities to Mega Man X and have them hashtag referenced and all that stuff. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, enough of this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man 1 Mega... What's the difference between Mega Man 1 Remix and Mega Man 1 Mega Mix? Uh, I don't know. If I think Mega... Yeah, sure. Mega Mix has the bosses and stuff. That's really it. Does Sonic remind you of Mega Man X? <laughs> mm, they're, they're both blue and they go fast.
Ah! Get away from me! <laughs> that was funny. I think touching those things are instant death. I'm not sure. Oh, I'll take it this time, Eddie. Thank you. You're sweet. Let's take the top route. That'll be fun. Don't you have to take a certain route for the... Not in... Or, in... Oh, right. He has two splits in this stage. Yeah. And honestly, the bottom part is prettier, but this part lets me play with flying platforms. And it has a bunch of power-ups. Oh, my weapons are fine. <laughs> Another one of my complaints with 2 that I've talked to you about before is I feel like everyone, everyone says how great the soundtrack is, and it is good, but, like, I feel like they only pay attention to the half of the soundtrack that isn't actually that good. And the other half of the soundtrack is amazing, but nobody ever talks about it. Mm. Sorry, say that again? In Mega Man 2? I mean, I, yeah. think the, I think 2 soundtrack is good. Yeah, it's good. But, like, I feel like the songs that are completely overblown and, like, there's a billion remixes of them and those are the only ones people ever talk about aren't the best songs in the game. Huh. Because you pretty much only ever hear people talking about Metal Man, Bubble Man, and Flash Man. But it's like, what about Air Man? And Wood Man? And Quick Man? Like, there's still a bunch of really good tracks in that game that no one ever talks about. Really? I think Air Man and Wood Man have, like, the most remixed tracks besides the Wily stage. Air Man, maybe. I haven't heard very many Wood Man remixes, like, ever. Let's I mean, see. I haven't really been poking around the remix. Ever do but. one stage no buster challenge in Mega Man 9. Yeah, I think I did do that with Gravity Man just because his stage is probably kind of the easiest to do with buster only. Oh wait, you said no buster. I don't know if I've done that. It's been a long, long time since I played 9 or 10. Um, I remember doing the challenge in 9 where you don't fire a shot the entire time. <laughs> I mean, I do think... Did I say Galaxy? I think... I think I made a similar mistake that Andy did. But I think, uh... Or Gravity. Blah. Now I'm just confused. Yeah, myself. you did say Gravity. I can't believe that. Andy did the same thing in his stream. I was kind of confused about exactly what you were talking about, actually. But yeah, I feel like Galaxy Man stage is the easiest to do that kind of stuff. Alright, Tomahawk man, he can be pretty challenging. I would really love to go back and play 9 and 10. I don't have them right now because I don't have my Wii or my Xbox 360 anymore. Or my PS3 for that matter. It's kind of sad to think I had the game on all three of those consoles. Wow, really? Yep. I kind of wish they'd put them on Steam or something. I wish they'd put it on Wii U. I mean, I know you can still get to the Wii shop. I could still play them if I wanted to, but it's just such a hassle to, like, go into Wii mode and... Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, not really, uh... Or didn't they, didn't they fix that or something? Oh. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. Shoot. Well, they Maybe. did fix it that, like, you can actually view the Wii titles on the gamepad, but I still don't think you can use the gamepad as the controller. Mm. I thought they did something where, like, you could put Wii games on the Wii U menu. I know you can, like, buy Wii games uh, from the shop. Really? I think well, it's, I think it's only if you buy Wii games. very forgiving on me. Yeah, I would, I, I would really love to have 9 and 10 again, and to be able to play them in, in a very easy way. I don't have to jump through hoops to load them. Oof. Boy, I'm starting to get a little tired now. All right, you taught me something about Fireman last time. Let's see if I can do it. So I want to stay in the corner. Yeah, if you just stay in the corner and jump over his fire, it should, like, the fire on the ground should dissipate quickly. But sometimes it doesn't always work. There's, like, a yeah, trick to did, it. It didn't work that well. It's still easier than how I usually tried to do him, which was just pretty much just going Rambo on him. Take him out before he takes me out. I knew that was going to happen eventually. Oh, 
I'm so bad at this. Yeah, these fans are super fun to play with too. There's just like a lot of fun physics things in this game. I think only Power Rockman can destroy those. Destroy those. Ugh. I know I'm getting tired because I'm mumbling a lot. Actually, I mumble a lot in general. No, I didn't want to switch. I just want regular Buster. So, button. Where's my pause? There it is. But I missed the bomb. Actually, can I jet while I'm on this thing? That's interesting. Oh, but I can't recharge it now. Ah! Damn it. I'm starting to swear too, which is also a sign of me getting tired. <clears throat> Whoa! Wearing power of Mega Man is a bad idea jumping over those. I shouldn't. What? Um, that yes? can happen? What? What happened? I was doing the, the freaking Iceman section. Uh huh. And I was up at the top of the screen and I like jumped off the top of the screen and died. Mmm. I guess. That's a thing? I know there's like screen wraparound. Oh, boy. So it's possible and you might have just. It might have like warped you to b the bottom of the screen and hit that hitbox. Damn it. Boy. I think Galaxy Man and Gravity Man are really good friends. They probably float around in space a lot, or something silly like that. Someone ship that. <laughs> Can't be fans if we don't ship things. Wow, why did I think that wouldn't happen? <laughs> I just went up like, I'm not gonna hit those spikes. Oh, damn it. Keep forgetting where my pause button is, so I can't do any of this fancy Mega Man 1 stuff. What are you trying to do, sweetie? You know, like killing the Yellow Devil in one hit and stuff. Uh, I couldn't remember what button I mapped it to on this controller. Apparently Andy never knew that was a thing. Like he, he would, how? He he would he he said in the stream like the pause trick has never worked for me I don't get it, but he was like weapon menu pausing, oh. and apparently has just thought that was the only pause like all his life. I mean, there's still that trick where you can kind of have shots phase through you in one one through three. Yeah. Um, I didn't know you could do it on anything other than a thunder beam. Oh, well, the thunder like, beam's was, just though. easiest because like. It has yeah. such a wide hit area. Bomb's pretty easy to do with, too. Yeah, that's true. I knew that was gonna hit me. Cause yeah, I saw like that speed run at at uh, Summer Games done quick. They of Mega Man One. They did the did it with the bomb on Gutsman. I was that's... like, I did not know you could do that. That's how I learned about the Fireman thing. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember that part. Darn it. Oh, did he back up? I didn't know he could do that. Was that the last guy? I think that was the last guy. No, I have stopped the. F no, I did Yamato Man already. Yeah, it was the last one you had, I think. I think I hear Crash Man's theme on your end. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's still too loud. Is it? I mean, I can, just saying I can hear it. 
Both? I mean, is that the first one you've been able to hear? Since you turned it down, but yeah, actually now it's a lot louder, it seems like. That's weird. Maybe I'm just paying attention to it more? I don't know. There has to be a better way to deal with those walkers in Flashman stage. Hmm. Oh, air shot. Air shooter. Oh, cool. Yep, that's what I always used. Yeah, like I'm gonna do the Heat Man section without item number two. <laughs> do I wanna go through there? Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna screw it up and die. I can do it usually, but I don't feel like doing it now. I'm getting spoopy. Thought about maybe doing. Not the lasers. Thought about maybe doing some more challenges after clearing this game, but I'm probably gonna have to hit the hay. I'm surprised people in the chat are staying up so late. Well, I, mean, I guess I don't know where they're all from. Something that regularly frustrates me is I seem to get a burst of viewers at like 7 in the morning. Well, everyone's like getting up, I guess. I guess, yeah. It's like it's just when we're getting ready to stop usually. <laughs> and then like a whole bunch of people show up. Uh, you have like a crazy sleep cycle though. Yeah. Yes, I do. If you don't know, Kevin is nocturnal. Um, we are planning. I think I told you already. We are planning to do more Monster Hunter Three tomorrow. Hmm. Hopefully, it will go smoother. Would you like to have the return of Porg? Oh god, Porg. <laughs> I forget about it. How did I- how could I forget? I don't know. How could you forget? This is I a also boss. learned from you that the atomic fire is really good against the dogs in Woodman stage. Never knew that before. They probably should be good against most everything, they just- it just consumes a lot of energy. Yeah, but it's good in challenges, because... Yeah. You don't have to care. That was dumb. Um, we'll probably we'll probably have four 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 people for Monster Hunter Three already. Most oh. of what went rough is that the one guy kept losing his connection. Um, I think he said he's gonna try to get a USB Ethernet adapter. So you already have four people playing. Yeah. Aww. Well, I'm not doing very well against this. There we go. I think this is the boss where you, you cannot use the buster. And unfortunately we're going to have to open the night with three laggy accurate kills because urgent quests. <laughs> we only managed to do one uh, Tuesday night. We have to do the other three yet. Uh, I guess I can refill this. They'll be back probably. Yep. Oh, it still wasn't silver. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I would absolutely love to do a Monster Hunter 4 stream. I'm still only G2 rank in that. God, I miss Monster Hunter so much. I love, 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 love Monster Hunter. I need to play more Monster Hunter. I need people to play Monster Hunter with. Yeah, Midori is the only one that could stream 4. I personally can't because I don't have the... I actually don't know if you even have the capture stuff anymore or if that 3DS still works. No, or... it's, it should still work, although I have to reinstall the software since I fixed my computer up. Ah. 
I don't have the means to do that though. Otherwise, I probably would have done four. Like we were, we were actually talking during one stream. I don't remember what we were talking about. Where we started talking about Monster Hunter. I think it was just like what games I had for Wii U that I could stream. Uh huh. And then some viewers or one of our viewers said that uh, they were interested in Monster Hunter. And then coincidentally, the week after that, all of the games went on sale on the eShop. <laughs> um, and Monster Hunter Three was like thirteen fifty or something. I considered starting a new file in Monster Hunter 4 just to, like, just to stream it and have something interesting to stream. Yeah, we were saying, like, we would have encouraged him to get 4 instead, except for the fact that we wouldn't have been able to stream it. So it's, like, it's still good, but, like, it's just not helpful from a stream standpoint. You know what? This is a boss I don't think I can do Buster Only. I've never tried, and Buster Only would be really hard on this thing. Which, uh, oh yes. That... Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. Yeah, I know. He's yeah. like just, he only just barely gets into your range. Because it looks like you have to hit the center of him, you can't hit the... I think you can hit the bottom parts. Or maybe you're right, jeez. Yeah, it kind of looks like you're going through him. I think you're right, yeah, this is really ridiculous. Buster only on that one. I mean... If I were better at dodging, maybe I could do it with the jet adapter. Oh, maybe. But yeah, no, this is hell. I don't think I can do this buster only. Huh. This is a really cheap battle. I mean, when you're not using silver tomahawk. Can I destroy those rocks before they hit the ground? Yeah, I can. What didn't, you, what didn't your friends like about Monster Hunter 4? Like, 4 was really solid. What didn't my friends like about it? What do you... No, uh, too funky, too for it said. None of his friends liked oh. it. They all bought it and then they all sold it. Um, the only thing I didn't like about 4 is that there were a lot of redundant monster choices. I mean, I'm only going to guess that was their first Monster Hunter and they just didn't get into it. That's possible. Maybe. I hated the first one I played too, so that's completely understandable. Yeah, it took me forever to get you into Monster Hunter. Yeah, I tried 3 on the Wii and the controls were like god-awful. And it wasn't until 3 Ultimate went on sale. I bought it for you. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, because it went on sale. Still. And I still didn't even think you'd play it then. No, yeah, I gave it a legitimate shot then. Before that, it was just like the trial version, so it wasn't there wasn't much mm. reason to stick with it very long, I guess. You know, it's kind of... Yeah, the... 4, I liked a lot. Like, 3 is stained by underwater combat. Crap, it still just infuriates me. I don't mind underwater combat so much. I guess I need that. Have you gone back and played it since 4? <laughs> yeah. Oh, have you? Well, I don't know if I have, but, like... I mean, I played it with you for the one stream, and so... Yeah, but that was... That was still only a couple years ago, three three years ago or something, but... Yeah, that was still before 4, wasn't it? Oh yeah, of course it was, I think. I mean, 4 in Japan might have came out soon after that, because Maybe. it came out there like a year before. I thought it was interesting that they actually announced that Laggy Acris is coming back for X. I love Laggy the Acris. There's no, there's no underwater in X. Oh, they can make a land version, I'm sure. The laggy accuracy is too cool to ignore. Why did I do that? My brain didn't register that I actually landed on the platform. 53 second... Oh, come on! Fire! Like, 53 second ye yellow devil kill and that's still only silver? You gotta use the pause trick, sweetie. No, the one from 3. Mark 2. Uh, hmm. I need to get closer so that I can multi-hit him with hard knuckle before he closes his eye. And that was the mistake I was making. Yeah, that's tricky to do. Because his hitbox can be weird. Yeah, I think my only complaint with Monster Hunter 4 was there was a, there was a lot of monsters that were just pretty much identical to the other ones. And it's like, I understand you have to have both Rathian and Rathalos, you can't have one without the other, but then there was a few monsters that were like identical to them. Hmm, like what? I mean, well, there was stupid Yon Cut Ku and Yon Garuga, which were pretty much them with some of Kiropeko's worst trades. 
I think I feel like Kiropeko is based on them, so that's what he that probably comes is. From. But still, um, then the fact that you had like you had Basarios and Gravios. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the problem was that in multiplayer, as you're going through the ranks, like, most of the key quests are the same, like, five monsters over and over and over again. Like, you have to fight Gravios, like, seven times or something ridiculous like that, and Tigrex, like, four times. Yeah. So it just, it gets kind of redundant after a while, I guess. Even though, with the type of game it is, you're gonna be killing the same monster a lot to make gear, but... Still, you know, 3 is kind of the same way anyway, like... Agnactor definitely had a lot of similar moves to Legiacris. Um, maybe, yeah. I mean, they're definitely, like, shared animation rigs, or whatever, but... I guess the, the problem is, is that, like... Rathios, uh, Ra Rathalos and Rathian... And Yon Garuga, Yon Kaku, Kuropeko, there's probably more. They all have this crap where they just like, they're very like, they move very mechanically. Mm hmm. Bothers me. Like, a lot of the new monsters in 4 move very naturally. You, you don't see them doing this stuff where they're standing there and turning around in place. Oh, to yeah. To face you and attack you. They all have saying. attack, like, attacks where they turn around. Yeah. So it looks much more fluid. I get what you mean. Um, we were actually talking about this a lot on Tuesday, because while we were playing 3. This is such a weird boss. Um, I actually just got my 25th silver medal for challenges, so I think I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to actually start watching a little more closely again. I'm just about done with the Mr. X stages. And actually probably... Ah! I dropped my controller! Probably when you finish, I'm probably gonna go play some Monster Hunter 3 to <laughs> work on my farm. Actually, I might start doing that now. Now I'll just I'll tune in for the last of this. Thoughts of uh, Monster Hunter stories? To be honest, I, I feel like they haven't really been talking about it too much, so I haven't been thinking about it. Uh, the monsters and the style of everything are super adorable, and that's great, but... Yeah, I like the look of it, but when it comes to Monster Hunter games, I assume that they're not coming to the US until further notice, so I don't pay any attention to them. Yeah, that's... I would be surprised if that comes to the US. Especially because if they're going to bring anything over, it's going to be Monster Hunter Cross, or X, or whatever you want to call it. And even then, I think if X were coming out here, we'd know about it by now. I, I don't know about that necessarily. About that, but I, I want to say, like, by this time with 4, when we were this far away from 4 Ultimate's release, we knew that it was coming. Maybe I really... did not know you could do that. Really? That's like, it's such an obvious thing, too. Yeah, I did not know you could do that. <laughs> Like, you just blew my mind. <laughs> wow. You need to play more Mega Man, sweetie. Well, like I said, I haven't. Five and six are like the ones <laughs> I. I forgot that the wind thing did that. That's so silly. Yeah, I forgot about that myself when I. I forget what I used it, it looks, on. It just looks ridiculous. Yeah, it does. Birds, the birds. Not the birds. Maybe I'll do something else you didn't know about, but we'll see. Should I go up or right? I completely forget what's in either direction. I guess... I don't remember. I have Jet on already, so I'll go up. Um, yeah, like, I played the hell out of 1, 2, and 3 because... I didn't have an NES as a kid, but I had a Genesis and I had Sega Channel, so I had access to Wily Wars. That's actually pretty Which impressive. Was an introduction to uh, Mega Man. <laughs> um, so I played the hell out of those three, and it wasn't until years later that I, I was able that. to play four, five, and six via emulator. Mm. And I think four is the only one I go to play just for the hell of it. Sometimes I don't really go to play five and six like just because ever. These robots are so weird. 
guy's just like, I give up. And he sits down and blows up. <laughs> I'm done. Whatever. Screw this. Fine. Whatever. Oh no, I can't get that. Oh dear. Ow. Ah, uh, shoot. I feel like I can't. I need something else to go forward with this. I mean, a lot of it too is that I tend to just do. I just, I just tend to. I don't use weapons a whole lot. I tend to just go buster. Oh! Until, until I'm hit with something where I ha I can't use the buster. Alright, well now we can go right and see what's there. So I just haven't messed with all the different weapons and items to see these, these sort of things. Flipping platforms with spikes on the bottom remind me of Mega Man. Oh, Yoshi's Island. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Uh, what? What about Yoshi's Island? Oh, he, he's... Oh, that was... Yeah, that was the same person. The flipping platforms with spikes on the bottom remind me of Yoshi's Island, and as I was reading it, I was like, oh, this of course is gonna be uh, Mega Man X, cause... <laughs> <laughs> I... God, I haven't played Yoshi's Island in ages. Yeah, I haven't... I probably haven't played oh, that. Oh, that's still down there? That's kind of funny. I don't know, when did Yoshi's Island come out? 95 or 96? Yes, yeah, so that's probably been 20 years since I've played that. Like, almost 20 years. We're, we're not old or anything, you guys. We're definitely not old. We're not old people. No, I'm okay with admitting that. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with admitting that. Well, that's right, only, this is directional. Only as old as you feel. Please don't die! Don't die! Ooh, ooh. Oh, this game sometimes. I can do this Mega Buster. Although I'm kind of low on energy. Do not even remember what this boss is. Surprise me. It's a big ball. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just kind of sits there and takes it, doesn't he? Hey, he's shooting the same shot at the floor that the, the end boss of Mega Man 5 shot. I wonder. I wonder <laughs> if that means anything. He's an old man piloting a robot thing. Who does that? Who's old and does that? It's had to have been like the least creative of his costumes, too. I mean, well, I guess he only had the one costume, but it's like, who who was going to fall for this? I still, I still, I love Mega Man's reaction here. Ah! I should have known. Bye! Was it in Mega Man 9 where, like, Wily revealed he was behind it, and Mega Man was like, I should have known! And I was like, yeah, you really should have. I think you so. You really should have. I think even, like, Proto Man came in and was just like, well, you're still an idiot, Mega Man. Yeah, I think so. Either in 9 and 10, I can't remember. Now for the most depressing Wily stage ever. I oh, know, it was at the end of 9. Because, well... Yeah, because 9 was the one where he, like, had light in... Like the fake, uh, like the fake man robot, pit police robots take him into custody. Yeah, he was like, no, that's a that's a that's a fake Doctor Light. Like you're you're a fool, Mega Man. And he's like, but what if it's the real Doctor Light? <laughs> <laughs> and Proto Man's like, oh, whatever, bye. Whatever, I'm out of here. <laughs> Fine, be that way. I'm too cool to hang out with you. Um. There is a secret here that's hard to get to. I'll try if I can remember where it is. I think I know where it is. I mean, it's obvious, but still. It's a little hard to pull off. Oh, here it is, I think. No, that's not where it is. Ooh, I, ooh. I think I screwed it up. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever got in there. It's probably just more one-ups and crap. I forget what's in there, but... <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen... Alright, I guess this stage is actually kind of challenging. 
But I don't know, just yeah. the music, just like, oh, everything is so dull, life is dull. Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, why, why'd you say this stage is so depressing? It's just, I don't know, it's for a Wily stage, it's just so uninteresting somehow. It looks like Nightman stage, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's like a Japanese castle. I mean, on the outside of it, yeah. Hmm? I think I'm losing you. Hmm? Oh, never mind. I just wasn't saying anything. Watching intently. I was actually thinking about how some of the enemies in this game are actually kind of annoying to deal with. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of- I like, like these guys with the fans and stuff, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's one of those things where it's interesting the first few times, and then you get to this point in the game, and you're like, Oh, enough. I get it. Alright, so... Past here. Ah! It's been a while since I've done that. Alright, so... Wait, where did I die last time? Oh, doing oh, it. Right oh here. god. All right, what? Are, how did I screw that up? How many lives do I have? I'm gonna like I'm gonna get a game over again. Save state. <laughs> no, no save state. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if I were if I were playing them for a stream, I probably wouldn't be using save states. I mean, I don't my, I don't really have that much pride or anything, but I I've, I've done this so many times, I should be able to yeah, to get through it again. Yeah, most of the save states I've used have been very... I just don't want to have to do that again. Like, I can do it again, but... I get it. Ow. I mean, I did clear all six on Anniversary Collection. You didn't have the option of save states there, so... Alright. This is kind of a dumb way to fight this boss, but I'm curious if you know about this. I might just die doing this anyway, but we'll see. It's amusing. What, can you like, punch the platforms at him or something? Usually. There we go. Nice. I I feel like I, I, I might have known about that, but I might be thinking of like a different game or something. It's a really it's similar. a really dumb way to fight this thing, because it doesn't even do that much damage. No, it really doesn't. Yeah, it's only hitting for one. I think it's oh, is it one? You might be right. Yeah, it's just one. Well, this is gonna take a while. You have the rhythm down at least. Yeah, I'm waiting for the fire to come hit me, but his aim for with those fireballs is really bad. <laughs> like wow. I guess I'm in his blind spot. You know, I wonder if this has the same problem as older OBS did, where, like, your voice would eventually go out of sync. But, I'm not using a face cam, so I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to say. Ow. They made this... the Ice Wily Castle for some reason. I guess this is the first time there's ever been an ice stage in Wily Castle. No, there was a Kostak one that was ice. Uh, but that's supposed to be in, like, Russia, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it actually makes sense. This is just kind of like, uh... Right. Well, I guess I guess the, the I guess the heat isn't working. He hasn't had time to fix it. Either that or he... pulled the heater out and turned it into a Robot Master. <laughs> turned it into Pharaoh like, Man? Sounds like something he would do. I think... If I remember correctly... Bright, Dust, Toad, Dive, Drill, and... Did I say Feral already? No. I think the six of them all ha all originally had, like, actual purposes. 
and then Ring and Skull were made solely, they were made afterwards solely as fighter robots. It's possible. I, I know a lot of them do have, like, weird purposes. But then, like, as I mentioned earlier, all of the Masters in 2 and 5 were designed just for combat, I, I believe. I'm pretty sure Crystal Man was originally built... <laughs> I think he, Dr. Ellie originally built him to make artificial crystals so he could make money. What is this boss? Oh. oh this dumb thing? Yeah, I don't, I don't really get this thing, so... I'm just gonna keep shooting at it, I guess? Like, I, I guess this works? I normally, I normally don't use Buster on it anyway, but... I'm sort of pseudo doing a buster run here. Okay, this thing is getting actually pretty close. Oh my god. I would tank. <laughs> Unless you don't have a lot of them. I should have a lot of them. I've barely been using them. But, uh, yeah, I normally just automatically use, what, wind blast or whatever on this guy. That was working okay for a while. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, I guess hitting its. Hitting those knocks it back. A giant massage robot. That's yeah, that is what it is. <laughs> Alright. No no, I mean I don't have to do it yet. This is gonna be a, a dirty scummy battle, but he built it for Gamma's back, but then he had to weaponize it for <laughs> for beating Mega Man. Oh Wily. Ouch, that was really dumb. I'm even gonna go ahead and use an energy tank. Oh yeah, you've eight of them. If I, if I had a little more finesse, I could have done that without an energy tank, but... What can I say? I'm a basic bitch. I guess this is just Robot Master rebattles. Randomly water. Yeah, that's kind of odd. This part was in the challenges and it gave me a lot of problems for some reason. Probably again, just because I, I haven't played 5 and 6 that was close. all that much. That so. was close. Yeah, I'm guessing Dr. Wily just got so broke from constantly making castles, he repurposed some old Japanese castle. Like Himeji Castle or something. I mean, I guess, you know, people probably would have noticed, though. So I was thinking about that too, with like in regards to any of the games where he tries to frame someone else. It's like, does nobody notice that he was building a castle over there? With a giant skull on it? Like who else would do that? <laughs> I'm doing this guy with Buster just because I want to conserve Tomahawk. Ow. I just imagine like some like some stupid comedy movie where they're like, oh, uh, what do you mean Dr. Kozak wasn't behind it? Like, yeah, did you look a mile behind the castle at the at the bigger one that's shaped like a skull? Like, did you not notice that? Wow, I did not do very well there. And I had full health and everything. Alright, Yamato man, we're making this personal now. Just because we're in your own personal castle. I remember when I was doing the Buster only challenge, Yamato Man gave me a lot of trouble. I kind of had to like relearn the fight because I wasn't muscling my way through it with, with his weakness. Getting getting hit by that kind of trips you up because it just stops you. Well, kind of getting hit by anything in five and six mess trips you up because it kills your charge shot. Mm -hmm. Because once it hits you, he immediately starts running after you. Yeah. Alright, for the rest of these guys, I'm just gonna use weapons. I 
I mean, maybe now the weapons will actually get some use in this game. Although I used Flame Blast and Blizzard Attack a couple of times. Who are you typing to? Uh, my stream partner. Ah. Talking about saying when we're done here, I might do Monster Hunter 3. Although, if we do Monster Hunter 3, we'll probably both be playing solo, so there's really no reason to hang out for that, I guess. Hmm. Oh my god, stop jumping. <laughs> ah, 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 oh, Atto? I'm sorry, I'm not even sure how to pronounce your name, forgive me. Welcome to the stream. Dark Souls Sorcerer Suit. I'm not even sure what that means. I don't play Dark Souls much. Yeah, it's like... I, 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 like, I think about getting it on sale on Steam or something sometime, but, um, like, even the people I know that have played Dark Souls, like, actually don't recommend it to me, so. What, the first one? Or? Uh, I think mostly the first one. I had Dark Souls 2. I forgot what boss this is. Oh, it's Wind. Easy peasy. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink quick while you're finishing up the last three. Okay. Oh, his weakness is plant barrier. Uh, that's that's disgusting. Uh, uh, I don't want to use plant barrier against him. Ah, uh, not bad. That was kind of a weird ending. What's up, lame man? You're certainly not a racist character design at all. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. That's me. I'm the kitty. Rainbow, what's the matter? No, I'm fine. I'm just playing a game. Do you want to come say hi to the internet? Come here. Um, I'm on the internet, though. Meow. 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 Hello, internet. Hello, internet. Oh, you've had enough. You don't want to meow anymore. Meow. Okay, yes, I have, in fact, had enough. If you were purring, I'd hold you up to the microphone, but you're not purring. Well, it's because I'm uncomfortable. Gosh. This is a really weird incidental conversation I'm having. Meow. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I am a cat, so I feel like she's talking to me. What a bizarre way to end this game. Okay, that was horrifying. I think this is where the axe murderer comes in. Eddie! Oh, you're so sweet, Eddie. Meow. Meow. Alright, this is where I wanted to... Uh, you know what? I wonder if I could do this buster only. I mean, I saved Silver Tomahawk for this purpose, but I might as well just use the buster. I guess the final boss in this is kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. 
You're gonna have to- when- when this stream goes on YouTube, you're gonna have to look at it later and, like, go to the part that you were just out for, because it's pretty amusing. Well, I- I heard you. Oh. Like, I wasn't that far away, I was, like, two- five feet away from my computer. Could she hear me? And my, and my microphone is badass, so it picked me up that well. I'm talking about while you're, like, while you're out. Getting a drink or whatever. Um, oh, why, did she come down and start meowing even before that? I don't know, but I was having a conversation. <laughs> This is actually you know, when, I came, when I came back in from faster. getting a drink, she came barreling downstairs, meowing her head off. Hmm. Well, yeah, just just go back to it. It's funny. This would be so much easier with Silver Tomahawk. But I know what I a weird boss se boss selection: racist bosses, Indian robot, samurai robot. <laughs> well, the idea was that they come from different parts of the world. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was some robot master design competition. It was it was actually, in a way, meant to imply like the world becoming more involved in robotics and becoming more technologically advanced, and was just kind of incidentally racist. But that sort of that sort of cute cartoony 1980s racism that was permittable in Punch Out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like, I could certainly think of more offensive ah. robot buster ideas. Yeah, yeah, I did that buster only. Alright, Otto, we're not going there. No, thank you. And then I broke Dr. Wily's neck. No, he's okay. Prison, though. That doesn't even make sense. What doesn't? Like, they, they couldn't have a Jewish robot master who's special. We're not, we're no, we're not talking about that. That's not. That's. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're right. Oil Man was probably worse than any of this. That's stuff not cool. This is not how I want to end my stream tonight. But you're involving the viewers, that's a good thing, it makes it memorable. Not, not when they're saying really disgusting things. Oil Man was another thing I'd like that they did in Archie Comics, where they just like gave him a scarf that he covers his mouth with all the time, to, so they could just kinda... Eh. ...pretend that wasn't a thing. It worked. Boy, is it past one now? It sure is. Mm-hmm. No problem, Danny. Unfortunately, I'm probably, like, I'm probably gonna end after this. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should go look over at Nintagus and see what he plays. Well, you're playing Monster Hunter, but... I'm not gonna stream. I'm okay. streaming tomorrow, but... Well, stream some, stream yeah, some Mega that. Man for Danny. He likes late-night retro game streams. Uh, last week after Splatoon, that's when I played Mega Man 2, actually. Hmm. So, like, there's, there's totally a chance of, like, if I'm streaming and we finish what we're doing and we happen to get a lot of people all of a sudden that will do something else... And Legacy Collection's kind of at the front of that right now. I would like to stream some Splatoon. I think we're gonna set up for uh, for my friend Eno to do first-time playthroughs of all six games, because he's never played any of them. Oh, wow. That'd be interesting. I actually meant to ask you which one he should start with, you think? I mean, like, what do you want to put him through? I was gonna put him on two first, just because one's a bit more punishing, maybe. I guess, like, if you, like, obviously start with one if you just want him to have the full experience. If you want him to have, like, an easy route, I would say start with five. I mean, this is the one that I had to do a first time playthrough of Mega Man X, although, like, my recording conditions were terrible at the time, so, like, 
I'd right. be plugging and say, hey, go watch, but you know, it, it, it sucks to watch. It's really hard <laughs> to watch. So, um, it was kind of bad, yeah. That's that's kind of why I why I wanted to do do this with Legacy Collection now. Um, so we could probably just go in order. Like, he was able to do it. I didn't have to, like, hold his hand through X or anything. Uh, he, like, he pulled it off. Still, one is pretty tricky when you, if you don't, like, I guess if you don't, like, get Mega Man. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, something I want to point wanted to point out is when I was watching you stream this the one night and you were doing challenges. Uh huh. Like the night you got it, I think. <clears throat> mm hmm. You pointed out uh, why can you watch replays of your challenges? Um, I think the bigger reason for that is that you can go to the leaderboard and watch replays of your friends. Oh yeah, the the second night I I streamed, I like went to I can't remember what the challenge. I think it was just like MM1 remix. And I just like played what the top guy there did, and it was super ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I was I I figured you'd probably figured it out eventually, but thought I'd point it out anyway, just in case. Good job, Hyper Mickey. Hyper Benji, or Bengie? I don't know. Everyone is hyper. To be continued. That's rarely a thing you see oh. at the end of a Mega Man game. That's true. And that's it. Um. All right. I think that's all I'm gonna play for tonight. So, cause I'm tired. I'm spoopy. Yeah, I guess it's getting pretty late for you. It's getting a little bit late. But um, yeah. Thank you very much, for watching sweeties and honeys out there. I don't know if this is a thing you can do on a YouTube stream, but like or subscribe or be friendly and cool. I think you can like it. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye. And I should also say thanks for Kevin for joining me. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>